Hello, everyone. Audiobook Collection here. The upcoming audiobook is a special dedication to one of our incredible Patreon supporters. If you're interested in making your own personalized requests, consider becoming a part of our Patreon community. You can find the link to my Patreon account in the video description below. Your support means the world, and I'm thankful for you joining me on this thrilling audiobook journey. Also if you want audiobook of 300 plus novel you can visit my Kofi shop where you can buy a Google Drive link for just $35. Chapter 101, Chapter 00101, Tailor-Made Training Methods, Learn to be beaten before hitting someone? With Shinobu in tow, Yami came to the backyard. This place is usually used as a leisure place for the members of Hephaestus's familia. Sometimes when they are tired from blacksmithing, they will come to this place to relax a little. Now, none of the familia members have come back. Some of them are looking for materials in the dungeon, and the other is probably in the weapon store that was set up inside the Tower of Babel. So now the yard is deserted, which is just convenient for Yami to do things next. In the huge courtyard, there are only Yami and Shinobu now. He accepted the physical strength recovery potion that Ms. Tamayo gave him. He never expected that Ms. Tamayo's talent was so good that she could fiddle with the magic potion without systematic study. Although Shinobu's magic can restore physical strength, no one knows what will happen in the dungeon, so it is also a good thing to prepare in advance so that you don't have to worry about physical strength loss problems. Yami-san, let's start now. Shinobu's eyes were full of longing, and her expression was full of impatience. However, looking at the girl's clothes, Yami frowned subconsciously, and then said, Shinobu, you should change into a workout outfit first, this outfit is not conducive to the next training, maybe it will hinder you so change into a slightly looser clothes. I understand. Shinobu could only suppress the restlessness in her heart, turned around and went back to her room to change clothes. After a while, she returned to the backyard, and now she has completely changed into slim training clothes. Her good figure can't be concealed at all, and Yami subconsciously took a second look. Fortunately, the latter's powerful control made him forget his wild thoughts. Then we're going to start now. Hi. Hearing this, Shinobu's gaze also became firm. Very good, I hope you can still have such a spirit later, so now, put these five things on your body, and start running around the whole of Orario. Eh? Eeeh. Watching Yami's movements, Shinobu subconsciously lowered her head and looked towards the ground. At some point, there were already five kinds of things on the ground, one of which looked like clothes, and the other four seemed to be wristbands, which made Shinobu's expression a little strange. Let her prepare so many things, and the result is to come for a run? Shinobu couldn't understand it. This was completely different from the special training she had imagined. Isn't this the most basic physical training? It's not like she hasn't done this kind of training before, but the effect is not obvious at all, it's completely useless? Don't look at me like that. The things I want to give you must be supported by strong physical fitness, otherwise you will never be able to display them, so physical training is a must. I got these things from Captain. The training clothes add up to about 500 caddies, which are just right for you to train. Of course, it's okay for you to quit now. Yami shrugged nonchalantly, with a relaxed expression. But he didn't say this, if Shinobu chooses to give up now, then if she still thinks about training later, he won't pay too much attention to it. Sometimes, giving up may be really giving up. Forget it, let me demonstrate it to you. The next thing I will teach you is called six styles, which are six powerful moves. Only those who have broken through the limits of the human body can learn them. Simply put, those who are the weakest, a LV.2 level adventurer, that is, an adventurer whose ability value is only D and can be upgraded, it is impossible to perform this trick, and you will only collapse if you don't have a strong body. The first trick is shave. Swish. As soon as his voice fell, Shinobu heard a piercing sound of breaking wind. The strong wind around her almost made her unable to open her eyes. When everything stabilized and she opened her eyes again, she suddenly found that Yami in front of her had completely disappeared and appeared on the other side of the yard. It's only a few breaths before and after, this speed can't be captured by sight at all. Even the demons she has encountered before, or the monsters in the dungeon, don't have such terrifying speed, and she doesn't even have a chance to react. This is really terrifying. Swish. It was the same sound again, and Yami returned to his previous spot. The girl still couldn't capture any movement trajectory, as if he had crossed the space, and appeared in front of her eyes in an instant, that kind of calm and breezy expression made her even more frightened. This is shave, a high-speed moving move. In a very short period of time, the feet step on the ground dozens of times in a row, and then move at a high speed through the reaction force, which is almost impossible to catch with the naked eye. This is also the reason why I want you to do basic training. Do you still want to learn it now? Yes, I want to learn. When saying this, Shinobu's tone can only be described as decisive. Seeing Yami's strength, that speed is really terrifying, isn't this the powerful power she wants to get? If this kind of power is in front of her and she doesn't know how to choose, then she is too stupid. I want to learn the six styles, please, Yami-san, please teach me. Since you have chosen to learn it, don't give up halfway. I will supervise you all the time. In the morning, we will start running around Orario, and in the afternoon we will enter the dungeon for special training. Be mentally prepared, you will not be idle for a second. Having said that, Yami grinned, revealing a sunny smile. Naturally, he would not let go of such a useful thing as God's grace. 
Apart from basic training, it can speed up physical fitness. In addition, it can also increase the experience of fighting against the enemy. There's no better way than this. Shinobu felt a little uneasy in her heart, but she didn't say anything. As long as she can obtain powerful strength, no matter how hard it is in the future, she will not hesitate. As a result, Yami took Shinobu and left the familiar residence, and walked towards the outskirts of Orario, but he did not leave the city, but started running against the city wall. As the center of the world, Orario's defense force is very strong, but usually no one else will come to attack the city, so there are no defenders on the top of the city, it is simply a perfect training ground. Under the scorching sun, Shinobu wearing weights are running at a constant speed. The full weight of 500 caddies is a burden for a girl like her who is petite and lacks strength. It is obviously very difficult to wear it for daily walking, let alone running. Only half an hour later, she began to pant heavily, and her steps began to slow down. Yami, who was always by her side, frowned slightly, and said immediately, Don't slow down, keep the previous speed, don't you want to become stronger? The girl gritted her teeth, quickly increased her speed, and forcibly recovered her previous speed. However, under such a high intensity, the burden on Shinobu became even greater. She seemed to feel that the whole world was on her shoulders, and her steps became heavier and heavier. Don't forget to breathe, squeeze the strength in your body, keep going. The figures of the two flickered on the wall. The morning time passed quickly, and Shinobu almost collapsed. Yami took out the stamina recovery potion given by Tamayo and poured it on the girl. The girl who was so tired before the effect of the magic potion took effect immediately recovered her ability to move. With the release of the magic, the exhausted physical strength recovered at an extremely fast speed. Compared with the world of One Piece, Orario probably can use this when exercising to quickly recover their exhausted physical strength, and then continue to train in high intensity. How do you feel? Yami asked with a smile. Not so good. I felt like I was going to die when I was running before. Does this really work? Of course, I won't lie to you. Have you recovered your physical strength? The next step is to enter the dungeon. It's still the same sentence. If you can't hold on, you can give up. Yami's kind words of persuasion are indeed from the heart. This kind of thing that is close to the devil's training is hard for men to bear, let alone women with slightly inferior physical talents. In fact, Shinobu's highly poisonous fighting style is very reliable. However, he somewhat underestimated the stubbornness of the girl in front of him. No, I'm going to continue, the next step is to enter the dungeon, right? Don't worry, I will definitely persevere, and I will never become a drag on the team again. That's fine, let's go on, lunch can only be done on the road. Yami nodded lightly, then walked down the city wall with Shinobu, and walked towards the central tower of Babel. It really feels good to train other people by yourself? Then let him see how long the girl in front of him can last. Inside the avenue of adventurers. Hey, Ace, what do you think of this dress? Um, what about this one? I think this dress is very suitable for you, Ace, why don't you try it? After all, you don't seem to have this type of dress. Um, similar conversations echoed in the streets. Four young girl-like adventurers wander the streets, entering the nearby shop from time to time, picking out the items inside, and showing sweet smiles from time to time. No matter where they go, they are the most eye-catching focus. The eyes of many people around them almost stayed on them, and there was a look of longing in their eyes, but no one dared to come forward to talk. The four big characters of the Loki Familia are enough to make anyone afraid. That's right, these people are the members of the Loki Familia who returned from the dungeon. At Tiona's invitation, Ace, Lefia, and Shin went out to play together, but Ace's face was completely indifferent from the beginning. She obviously came out to play, but she didn't even take off the armor on her body, she even had a weapon pinned to her waist, and her eyes looked in the direction of the Tower of Babel from time to time. It can be seen from this that the drunkard's intention is not to drink. Ace's actions from time to time at that time made the three girls on the scene very helpless. They have worked very hard to mobilize Ace emotions. This time out shopping was entrusted by Reveria, just to prevent Ace from being too extreme and hurting herself. But now it seems that the effect is not very good. I said, Ace, can't you take a break for a few days? You're already out to play, so don't look in the direction of the Tower of Babel. You know that Reveria doesn't allow you to enter again. The dungeon raid is over, at least it will be a few days later. Shin said softly with a helpless face. Oh. However, what she got in return was Ace's indifferent response, without any emotion at all, making it impossible to guess what she was thinking at the moment. After the communication failed, Shin could only choose to give up. If she don't want to listen, so be it, at least she can walk with them. Just don't enter the dungeon, this can barely be regarded as fulfilling Reveria's entrustment. However, the next voice made the situation change. Eh? Isn't that the little brother we met on the safe floor before? The girl next to him, I have never seen her, is she a newcomer to Hephaestus Familia? Judging by their appearance, it seems that they are about to enter the dungeon. As soon as these words came out, they immediately attracted the attention of everyone present. Following Tiona's words, they saw two figures walking towards the Tower of Babel. They were Yami and Shinobu who had left around the city wall before. That girl is so beautiful, and her footsteps seem too unsteady. Is she wearing something that is too big and heavy? It is not a good choice to enter the dungeon like this. The sharp-eyed Shin also saw the abnormal figure of Shinobu, and subconsciously commented. 
But it was the sentence that instantly revived Asa's whole body. She tilted her head expressionlessly, and they didn't know what was going on in her mind. The next moment, the girl suddenly turned her head, her expression still unchanged. But the voice that came out of her mouth was full of firmness. Chen, I want to enter the dungeon. Ah. The sudden words confused Chen, Ace, didn't I already say that? Don't embarrass me, if Reveria know that you entered the dungeon without her permission, I'm sure I'm going to die terribly, so Ace, you just take a day off. Thinking of Reveria's angry look, Shin couldn't help but tremble. I'm not going for leveling, I want to follow them and have a look. Ace raised her hand and pointed at Yami who was about to enter the dungeon. Her tone was unusually flat, but anyone could tell that this was no longer an application, but a notification. I want to go and see. Repeating this sentence all the time made Shin very tangled. Looking at Ace's expression at this time, she suddenly sighed helplessly. Sigh? I really can't do anything about you, but let me tell you this first, you can't go there to level up, you just go to see the situation, otherwise I won't promise you this next time, do you understand? Yeah. Ace nodded lightly, her face full of obedience. Really, you can only be more obedient at this time. Since you want to follow, then let's hurry up, otherwise you will be in trouble if you lose track on them. With Shin's permission, the group of four hurried to catch up. At this moment, Yami has not noticed that there are four tails hanging far behind him. After entering the dungeon, Yami led Shinobu to move forward until they reached the 10th floor, and then they stopped. Looking at the surrounding foggy terrain, Shinobu panted heavily while showing a confused expression. Yami-san, shall we start training here? That's right, today is here, what you have to do today is to survive here, don't attack monsters with your hands, but dodge their attacks and push them at the same time. Yami put down the backpack behind him, and took out a set of light armor from it. This is a product I made when I was forging. It's not too heavy. It can protect you to the greatest extent, and it can also withstand attacks for a long time. This is what you have to do today. After saying that, Yami helped Shinobu put on this light armor. In addition to the original weight, the girl felt that she was carrying the whole world on her back, her movements were restricted, and even her breathing seemed to be a little difficult. It seems to be directly wrapped her into rice dumplings. You can start. Standing aside and admiring Shinobu behind the armor, that kind of heroic posture really made people nod their heads. Sure enough, as long as they are beautiful, they look good in anything. Don't be in a daze, being beaten can exercise your durability to the maximum, dodging can also increase your dexterity, carrying weight can also exercise your strength, running around the city wall before can exercise your speed, wait until you feel that you can't bear it. When the time comes, just chant magic to recover, which can exercise your magic power. It's the training method I tailor made for you, which can improve your physique in the shortest time, so as to meet the minimum requirements for learning the six styles, so do you have any questions now? No. Then move, the enemy is coming. Chapter 102, Chapter 00102, Ace's Apprenticeship Request. Inside the dungeon, a large number of orcs and imps gathered, the scene can be said to be very familiar. Looking at the monsters running towards her, Shinobu subconsciously raised her right hand and placed it on her left waist, but the imaginable touch did not come. The girl suddenly lowered her head, only to realize that she was not carrying a weapon. The approaching monsters kept roaring, which immediately brought her a great sense of urgency. If she were to fight these monsters, she would naturally be unambiguous, but she couldn't fight back and can only stand there and be beaten. Shinobu really didn't think she could bear it. But it seems that even if she want to fight back, it is a little unrealistic. Originally, her strength was small, but now she didn't even bring a weapon. It would be a bit too whimsical to kill these rough-skinned and thick-skinned monsters with just her fists. Shinobu, don't forget your own purpose. Don't you want to become stronger? Then try to dodge these monster attacks. If you can't dodge, withstand the opponent's attack and protect your vital parts. Don't be cornered. If you can't bear it any longer, then use magic recovery and work hard. Words without any emotion came out of Yami's mouth, and he was still standing at the same place at the moment, looking at Shinobu who had been surrounded by countless monsters calmly. In this case, the role of God's grace can be used brilliantly. Although it is not as good as the harvest brought by going all out when challenging powerful enemies, this method is more effective than ordinary dungeon exploration. Therefore, as long as Shinobu endures and overcomes her psychological barriers, her improvement will definitely be far beyond her imagination. Hearing Yami's words, Shinobu gritted her teeth, and her will gradually become firm again. Bearing the weight on her body, she felt that even her breathing method had improved. Unfortunately, these are all illusions. Come, I won't back down, I will become stronger. Relying on her own roar to forcibly strengthen her courage, the monsters have already been handed to her. The orc's strong arms are raised high, its eyes shining with scarlet light, and it smashes towards Shinobu's head with all its strength. The latter quickly moved her body and barely avoided the blow. Because of the weight on her body, the girl's dexterity, which should be agile, completely disappeared. Although the shadow of the past can still be seen in the movements, but now she looks a little stiff. Before Shinobu could breathe a sigh of relief, an imp suddenly came out and hit her chest directly. Although it was protected by light armor, she could still feel obvious pain. The huge impact instantly sent Shinobu flying out, rolling back and forth on the ground in embarrassment. Is the restriction caused by the load so much greater than imagined? Yami, who had been standing on the sidelines, frowned subconsciously. He had already opened the transparent world, 
So he naturally knew that Shinobu had not suffered any obvious injuries, but the blood flow in her body obviously began to become disordered. So this kind of weight is still too much of a burden for such a petite girl. However it seems unbearable. At any rate, it has been carefully calculated, and only in this most extreme state can the potential in the body be fully stimulated, thereby obtaining a huge improvement. God's grace is probably the most scientific way to use it. Ever since, the following time can be called the Good Friday of Shinobu Endurance. The girl shuttled back and forth among the monsters, trying her best to dodge every monster's attack, but due to the difference in numbers and the weight she wore, it was impossible to perfectly dodge every attack, so she often suffered as she endured being beaten and flew out. The tragic appearance made Yami a little bit tormented. Just when he was about to kill all the monsters and let Shinobu rest for a while, he subconsciously stopped. Because in the middle of the battlefield, that resolute expression seemed to tell that she could still persevere. Even she worked so hard herself. So I can only become a villain to the end. In this way, in the following time, Shinobu was ravaged by a large number of monsters, and even her delicate face was turned blue and purple. The beautiful and flowery girl before had disappeared, and she was in a state of embarrassment at the moment. At the same time, she has reached her limit. Take a break for a while. Yami saw that Shinobu was about to be unable to hold on any longer, so he stopped hesitating immediately, jumped up high, his feet slashed out like blades, a large number of vacuum slashes flew out instantly, and landed precisely beside Shinobu, splitting all the monsters coming towards us in half. The sky was filled with smoke and dust, and Shinobu let go of her spirit, her legs became weak and she fell towards the ground. The next moment, she directly entered into a warm embrace. You've done a good job, Shinobu, let's take a break now. Looking at the haggard Shinobu in front of him, Yami's eyes were filled with distress, but his expression was filled with relief. That just now, was the six, six style. That's right, you can also learn the kicking skills in the six styles, let's not talk about this, first drink the magic potion and rest for a while. Yami explained with a gentle face, and at the same time opened the potion and poured it into the girl's mouth. The effect of the magic potion was much better than what Ms. Tamayo described. After a few breaths, the breathing of the girl who was very weak just now became much more stable and gradually recovered. However, this warm embrace made her a little obsessed, and she didn't want to leave so soon. The two of them hugged each other amidst the corpses of monsters all over the floor. This kind of scene felt very strange no matter how they looked at it, but neither of them felt anything strange. Suddenly, a sound not far away broke the warmth. Damn it, little brother, you are too powerful, what was that just now, magic? Shinobu was startled by the sudden sound, struggled to get up from Yami's arms, and then looked in the direction of the sound with an uneasy expression. The smoke and dust dissipated, and only four figures appeared in the line of sight of the two of them. It was Ace and the others who followed all the way. At this moment, Tiona revealed a look of surprise, walked quickly with a face full of curiosity, and asked Yami impatiently, as if she would not give up until she figured it out. In addition, Ace's hot eyes did not hide at all, as if she wanted to swallow Yami alive. It turns out it's you guys, are you also here to train? Yami also showed a faint smile when he saw an acquaintance, and then his expression became a little weird, but it doesn't look like you are here to train. So what's going on? The sudden questioning made several people unable to deal with it immediately. They were a little embarrassed. After all, the reason was a little hard to say. It was impossible to say that they came here secretly to spy on him on a whim right? It is not a polite thing to follow other adventurers in a dungeon. Before Tiona and the three of them could figure out a reason, Ace, who had already been impatient for a long time, jumped up directly, startling everyone. I want to learn, the trick just now, teach me. Yami was also taken aback by a sudden appearance in front of him, but after hearing the girl's words clearly, his expression became calm again. Sure enough, there are probably only various powerful forces that can cause such a big change in Ace. You want to learn the trick I just did. MMM. Nodding crazily like a hamster, Ace at this time can be said to be very cute, even Tiona and the others on the side are a little dumbfounded, when have they ever seen their familia's baby sword girl show such an expression? If Loki knew about it, she would definitely go crazy with envy, but soon, Lefiya was the first to recover. Miss Ace, this is not acceptable. The girl quickly ran forward and grabbed the excited Ace, adventurer's abilities are very valuable, and the captain also said that you must never ask about other adventurer's abilities. She wanted to pull Ace away, but as a mage, how could she be Ace's opponent in terms of strength, let alone the level gap between them? She couldn't be shaken at all, and even made Lefi Yaw herself tired enough. The elf girl was about to cry. However, Ace didn't notice anything strange about her at all, and her eyes still stayed on Yami, repeating what she said before, can you teach me the trick just now? I can pay the learning fee. It's no problem to teach you. After all, it's not too precious a skill. However, these skills have no effect on you at all. As a swordsman, if you practice physical skills, it's a little bit upside down, so I definitely don't recommend learning it. It's better to train your own sword skills. Yami expressed his suggestion very kindly, but it did not shake Ace's determination at all. The girl's eyes remained firm, and she shook her head lightly, I want to learn, any conditions are fine, as long as I can meet them. How is this possible, Miss Ace, in case? Lefiya was sore when she heard this, and wanted to continue to dissuade her, but she had no position at all, and she dared not say some things at all. 
However, Yami directly heard the deep meaning hidden in Lefiya's words. It should be said that he is called a sex goblin. She is not very old, but she is unexpectedly precocious. I've said that it doesn't have much effect on you, do you still want to learn it? Sigh, you're not listening at all. Scratching his head a little weirdly, Yami's expression quickly returned to normal, okay, but I have one condition. At present, I need a group of middle-level monsters to drops. For the special materials that fell, if you have them there, or if you get them later, I hope you can sell the excess to me first, shouldn't this be a problem? Is that all? The Amazon sisters suddenly showed a look of surprise, after all the condition was too simple. Although their familia members would walk a long distance every time they entered the dungeon, they would naturally be able to obtain a lot of special materials, even if a lot were used to maintain equipment, there would still be some left over. Anyway, they all need to be sold, so it is the same to sell to anyone. If they can exchange it for a skill, they will naturally make a lot of money, and judging from Yami's actions before, this skill is not as simple as imagined, and its power is far greater and powerful beyond cognition. If it wasn't for the absence of magic power fluctuations, they would even regard it as magic. But they have to say that every time they see this little brother in front of them, it will always bring them surprises. Last time he used sword skills comparable to magic, and this time he showed powerful physical skills. So many good things come from one person. Simply enviable? That's all. The relationship between Hephaestus Sama and Loki Sama is very good. Even Captain and the others often participate in the leveling ranks of your familia. And Miss Ace is very favored in your familia, so I will not choose to refuse such a good thing if Arario's most powerful familia owes me a favor. Yami explained while shrugging his shoulders. This is not a lie, he does have this kind of purpose, at least in the future when something happens, Loki will take into account today's favor, and choose to come forward to help him stand. After all, Yami knows how much Ace is loved by the Loki familia. Thank you, I will not pass on the skills you taught me to others, and I will try my best to collect the special materials you need. Ace nodded gratefully, and the meaning in her words was also obvious. She obviously regards this matter as her own, and she doesn't really want to rely on Loki familia. It should be said that it is her. Although this kind of character is a bit straightforward, it is indeed very pleasing to the eyes. But there are some things that are not just what she wants. Then I will trouble you, Miss Anne. Yami nodded with a smile on his face, his goal has been achieved. Then let's start now. It just so happens that Shinobu has almost rested, and her injuries have recovered, so let's continue. Hearing this, the others noticed Shinobu beside them. The continuous healing magic on the other party also made them very concerned. At the same time, there was an envious expression in their eyes. The new members of Hephaestus's familia are really excellent. Such a good seedling was also taken one step ahead by the other party, you must know that they don't have many familia? It's a pity that the matter is a foregone conclusion, and it is obviously unlikely to fight for it. If Finn and the others find out, they will definitely feel very sorry, Shin, I want to stay and study, you go back first. What Ace said made the other people's faces darken. Are they this kind of tool people in the end? Shin sighed helplessly, then I'll take Lefiya back first, and I'll go to Riveria to explain what happened here. But for the sake of safety, Tiona, you should stay with Ace, so that you can take care of her. Understood, sister. In fact, Tiona also wanted to stay, after all, she was very curious about Yami's skills, and now she finally had a valid reason. But, she still need to obtain the permission of the person concerned. Do you mind if I stay? Little brother, if you don't want me to see your teaching process, I can stay away from you a little bit, and I promise not to eavesdrop. It doesn't matter, if you want to stay, you can stay, anyway, I don't plan to hide it, after all, it's not a precious skill. Although the six styles are powerful, they are also very difficult to learn, but they are not as difficult as imagined. There is no shortage of geniuses in every world, and there are not a few people who can learn other skills at a glance, so it didn't matter to him. It would be better to say that this is also a contact that came to his door. Then I will trouble you, brother Yami, I will take Lefiya to leave first. After finishing speaking, Shin directly pulled the unwilling Lefiya away from the place, and it was undoubtedly a dream for a mage to resist her. In the blink of an eye, there were only four people left on the spot. This change also made Yami somewhat unexpected, but it should be said that the situation is not bad, or even better than he imagined. Adventurers don't fight and kill, adventurers are people with sophistication. Then let's start now. Shinobu, you can continue to train. It is too early for you to learn the six styles. When you upgrade, you will have the basic qualifications. Understood. Although a little disappointed, Shinobu didn't refute, and ran to the other side on her own. She knows that she is too weak, so she just needs to work hard. First level adventurer? Sooner or later, she will also reach that point too. Looking at her appearance full of fighting spirit, Yami nodded in satisfaction. Chapter 103, Chapter 00103, Ocean Affinity? Then let's start now. Hi, Master. Ace and Tiona responded almost in unison. To be honest, this title is a bit strange, but under Ace's insistence, even Tiona started to join, which made Yami have no choice but to accept it. Not to mention, having two beautiful girl apprentices, this feeling is really good. The only person who felt uncomfortable at the scene was probably Shinobu who was shuttling back and forth among the monsters. After all, she was in danger, but here they were communicating happily. 
The psychological gap between them is really hard for ordinary people to accept. The next thing I'm going to teach you is a physical technique called the six styles. The effects are different, but only those with strong bodies can learn and perform it. It just so happens that both of you meet this requirement, almost both of you. With the enhancement of the ability value of A, your body is already strong enough. Then, first of all, next, Yami began to teach Ace and Tiona how to use shave. It is no exaggeration to say that shave is the foundation of the six styles, and it is also the simplest move. Only after mastering this high-speed movement technique, will it be easier to learn to use other techniques. In this process, he did not forget to teach his students in accordance with their aptitude. As a swordsman, Ace doesn't need to learn all the moves. For example, Tempest Kick and Finger Gun are not needed at all. She only needs to learn Shave to increase mobility, learn Moonwalk to increase long-term air-to-air ability, and learn Paper Painting to increase her dodging ability, and learn Iron Block to increase survivability. On the other hand, Tiona on the side can learn all six moves. As an Amazon race, Tiona's fighting style is very wild. Although she usually uses the big double blade, she often breaks her weapon. At this time, physical skills are very useful. But no matter what, Yami's teaching method can be said to be very effective. After he passed on the specific skills, whether it is Ace or Diona, whose physical fitness has met the standard, the six styles are not as difficult to learn as imagined, which stops many people. The reason it's hard to learn is that their body can't take it. But there is no need to worry about this with the two girls in front of him, which makes Yami not surprised. At the very beginning, Ace and Tiona were a little bit full of loopholes, but they can be used directly later, although there are still many flaws, such as the startup speed is not fast, and the moving distance is not very far, and full of flaws, but being able to use it in such a short period of time is already absurd. After all, even the Navy in One Piece world will take at least several years to get started. Of course, if it's a guy with talent, it's another matter. But no matter what, the two girls have gained a lot. In the next few hours, Shinobu endured the siege and bruises from the monsters and was rescued by Yami again to rest. When her physical strength recovered a little, she repeated the previous behavior again. The human condition is stimulating. Not only that, Ace has successfully learned the moon step, and Tiona is very talented in physical arts, not only learned the moon step, but even the tempest kick has been successfully displayed. Although it can't be used in battle for the time being, it is already considered an entry. In the future, it only needs more proficiency to be able to master it thoroughly and use it in battle. To be honest, this made Yami completely unable to appreciate the joy of being a master. Sure enough, it is not a good thing for disciples to be too smart, they learn too quickly. Fortunately, the two girls were stuck in the process of learning paper painting and iron blocks, which made Yami think a lot. Compared with the other three techniques, the remaining three techniques are also more difficult. They need to stimulate their muscles and blood, gather the strength of the whole body, so as to increase the hardness of the body, and carry out violent attacks and defenses. The sixth style training has reached a high level and can control every part of the body. This is similar to the breathing method. This may be very simple for Shinobu, but it is much more difficult for Ace and Tiona, no matter how hard the two women tried, they couldn't find that feeling. For this point, Yami said that it can only be mastered by the two of them. Anyway, the master leads the door, and the mastery depends on the individual. If all difficulties are resolved by him, then Yami may despise the so-called strongest familia. However, that doesn't seem to be happening. Even though they encountered difficulties, Ace and Tiona didn't ask questions directly but gathered together to discuss with each other, and at the same time brought many monsters to test. Looking at this scene, Yami nodded in satisfaction. God Loki is really lucky. To be able to meet such an outstanding child, I have to say that it is not unreasonable for the Loki family to develop into one of Orario's double kings. It's a pity if only he could come to the world of Orario sooner, maybe he could bring such a beautiful and outstanding girl to the same family in advance, but now obviously there is no such opportunity. With a helpless sigh, Yami shook his head, throwing this strange thought behind him. In the process of training, the passage of time can be said to be quite fast. Shinobu was so exhausted that she couldn't even use magic again. Not only did her magic power disappear, but her mental power was drained, her physical strength was exhausted, and her whole body was covered in cuts and bruises. If Tiona hadn't given a bottle of healing potion, I'm afraid that this kind of injury might really leave sequelae. This aspect is indeed something that Yami has not considered, and it needs to be paid attention to later. Thinking of this, he carried the exhausted girl on his back and then took Ace and Tiona on the road back to Orario. Although the two women still had some unfinished business, they did not choose to stay any longer. However, they agreed on a time, and they will gather at the east wall of Orario tomorrow morning to continue training for a whole day, and then they will be separated outside the Tower of Babel. As the sun was setting, Yami returned to the family residence with Shinobu on his back. The girl on his back was already so tired that she fell asleep, her breathing was very gentle, and her sleeping face looked very haggard, which made Yami show a distressed expression again. After Tamayo's careful inspection, it was confirmed that there were no sequelae left on her body, so he was relieved. How did she become like this? Shinobu's body is already a bit overdrawn. If it wasn't for the timely treatment, I'm afraid there would be sequelae. Although I know that these are all requested by her, you still have to pay attention to the method. 
If it comes to worse, I'm afraid Connie won't forgive you for any wounds you left behind. Hearing Tamayo's slightly reproachful words, Yami could only smile helplessly. Don't worry, Tamayo, I know what I'm doing. I won't do that kind of thing. I've already thought about this kind of thing, so next, please take care of her. While speaking, Yami put a piece of paper on the table, then turned and left freely. Tamayo, who was very puzzled, stretched out her hand to pick up the paper, glanced at it, and then the blame in her eyes had completely disappeared, leaving only a touch of emotion. Her eyes fell on Shinobu who was sleeping beside her, and she couldn't help but chuckle, Shinobu, you are so lucky to meet a good man like Yami, it seems that you will soon be able to realize your wish, maybe this is my luck too. The contents recorded on the paper are the names of some medicinal materials. That's what Yami inherited from the naval body training. Physical training is not only about strength, but also this pair of precious medicinal liquids, which is also an untold secret in the navy, but he got it through Dragon. With this auxiliary training method, training will be more effective with half the effort. That being the case, there is no need to worry about overdrafts. After her words fell, Tamayo stood up slowly and began to prepare the required medicinal materials. And Yami, who left Tamayo's room, returned to his own room. He originally planned to take a good look at Orario, but now he changed his plan. But no matter what, today is indeed quite fulfilling. It's another day full of hope, but there is no way to rest right now. Today's simulation times have not been used yet. Let's try today's luck first. System, carry out a traversal simulation. Lying in bed as always, this is what Yami needs to do every day. After saying that, the mechanical sound of the system sounded again. Ding, the simulation talent is being drawn, drawing. Ding, the talent has been extracted successfully. The white talent Big Stomach King, the blue talent Ocean Affinity. Please choose one of the talents as the initial talent. Luck is as bad as ever. Yami is completely powerless to complain. It seems that he hasn't acquired a powerful talent for a long time, especially for him now. Ordinary things can no longer satisfy him. Now his strength is already very reliable, but it is not as good as those strongest in the world of One Piece, so he plans to find another way to find a more powerful devil fruit and improve his strength from other directions. The natural devil fruit is undoubtedly a good choice. Similarly, there are phantom devil fruits and so on, which Yami desires very much. The problem now is that although devil fruits appear a lot in the original book, it was never mentioned where they come from at all, so Yami doesn't know where to look for them. Even if there are some mentioned devil fruits, they are after the start of the plot, but now he is going through the simulated timeline, and Zoro is still just a kid. If he wants to find the devil's fruit in his memory, isn't this just looking for a needle in the ocean? So, it's kind of a pain in the ass. No matter what, it is necessary to try it. It is known that the thunder fruit is on Sky Island, and Enel should not have eaten it, so I have a chance now, although I was accidentally involved in the sea last time I died during the simulation, I don't believe that my luck is so bad every time, so I have to try it no matter what. Yami made up his mind and directly chose the second talent. Ding, the host has chosen the blue talent ocean affinity successfully, the simulation begins. On the first day, you crossed to the beach of Shimatsuki village in East Blue, and the surrounding villagers were surprised by this, and all of them chose to flee the scene almost at the same time. As always at the beginning, Yami's heart did not fluctuate in the slightest. Similar to the last simulation experience, he explained his origin clearly, and then accepted Kuna as his apprentice as before, teaching her the breathing method and swordsmanship. Half a year later, you go out to sea with a merchant ship, and you meet a pirate group along the way, you attack outrageously, kill all the pirates who will commit crimes in the future, and incorporate their pirate ships at the same time. After learning the lesson from last time, you came to Magic Valley Town at the same time. After being strengthened by professionals, your pirate ship has become stronger. Even if it is not as strong as the treasure tree Adam, it should not be a problem to deal with huge wind and waves. You feel confident in your heart. The sky current is coming, and you suddenly hear the voice from the depths of the sea, the sea, and the sea creatures are explaining to you that there will be a storm soon. The ocean storm just so happens to be the same storm that crushed you last time. Your heart sank suddenly, thinking about a specific solution. While you were hesitating, the sea current had erupted, and you hadn't had time to catch up, so you could only choose to give up unwillingly until the storm that came from afar swept the sea to the sky again. When the flow turned into a terrifying sea spout, you immediately showed a look of rejoicing. After about an hour, the soaring ocean current stopped, and the sea spout completely dissipated. You survived. Good guy, does the ocean affinity talent actually have this function? It's really unexpected, but if you think about it this way, it seems that it is not impossible to go to the sky island. Staring intently at the beating words of the simulation process, Yami's eyes narrowed together, with a thoughtful expression on his face. He is not in a hurry to go to the sky island. The ocean current will appear every once in a while. Although the location is uncertain, it is not impossible to find it. With this kind of talent, he can judge the safety of the soaring ocean currents every time. Looking at it this way, it seems that my luck is not particularly bad. Just when this idea appeared in Yami's mind, the words on the white screen of the system jumped suddenly, and the following plot changes also appeared. You are temporarily living in Magic Valley Town. There are a lot of pirates gathered in the town, many of them have no eyesight and want to attack you, but after you kill a few pirates bloodily, everyone is very afraid of you. They don't dare to come forward to offend you again. 
You get a stable life for a period of time. During this time, you found Mont Blanc Cricket, got a lot of records about Sky Island from him, and persuaded this guy to help you calculate the next time-specific location where the soaring current appears. At the same time, you are constantly familiar with the talent of ocean affinity, and you have gained another usage. You have the ability to breathe in the ocean, and at the same time, you can ignore the sea pressure. Even if you dive into the deep sea, the dark environment around you will not be able to affect you in the slightest. As long as you are in contact with the sea, you feel that you have become a part of the sea. Half a month later, the soaring sea current came again. Ocean affinity did not give you the slightest warning. You know that you will not encounter threats from nature this time, so you decide to set off for Sky Island. With the help of Cricket, you precisely found the position of the soaring ocean current, and then went all the way up in the terrifying ocean current. The exciting feeling did not make you feel the slightest fear but was full of excitement. Relying on the reinforced ship, the little sailing knowledge in your memory, and the hints from the ocean, you successfully avoided all crises, and finally successfully passed through. After passing through the clouds, you arrive at an altitude of 7,000 meters, which is where the White Sea is located. The thin air around you makes you feel a little uncomfortable, and even your strength is slightly affected. But soon, you get familiar with this environment, and your strength will no longer be affected. You encountered a huge creature in the White Sea, but with your powerful strength, you easily killed all the monsters. At the same time, you captured a monster and let it send you to the entrance to Angel Island. By paying the customs clearance fee, you successfully entered the White Sea and arrived at Sky Island. Successful, it is really not easy. When seeing this, Yami's entire face showed joy. Now he can finally say that the talent drawn in this traversal simulation is not bad, on the contrary, it can be said to be quite good. Without this talent, if he wants to reach the Sky Island safely, it is probably just a matter of luck. However, coming to the Sky Island is only the first step, and he still needs to see if he can find the Thunder Fruit. After all, no one knows whether the current Enel has taken the Thunder Fruit, I hope it is best not to. Chapter 104, Chapter 104, Soaring Sword Intent? Slash 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 recap from the previous chapter slash slash slash. On the first day, you crossed to the beach of Shimatsuki village in East Blue, and the surrounding villagers were surprised by this, and all of them chose to flee the scene almost at the same time. As always at the beginning, Yami's heart did not fluctuate in the slightest. Similar to the last simulation experience, he explained his origin clearly, and then accepted Kona as his apprentice as before, teaching her the breathing method and swordsmanship. Half a year later, you go out to sea with a merchant ship, and you meet a pirate group along the way, you attack outrageously, kill all the pirates who will commit crimes in the future, and incorporate their pirate ships at the same time. After learning the lesson from last time, you came to Magic Valley Town at the same time. After being strengthened by professionals, your pirate ship has become stronger. Even if it is not as strong as the treasure tree Adam, it should not be a problem to deal with huge wind and waves. You feel confident in your heart. The sky current is coming, and you suddenly hear the voice from the depths of the sea, the sea, and the sea creatures are explaining to you that there will be a storm soon. The ocean storm just so happens to be the same storm that crushed you last time. Your heart sank suddenly, thinking about a specific solution. While you were hesitating, the sea current had erupted, and you hadn't had time to catch up, so you could only choose to give up unwillingly until the storm that came from afar swept the sea to the sky again. When the flow turned into a terrifying sea spout, you immediately showed a look of rejoicing. After about an hour, the soaring ocean current stopped, and the sea spout completely dissipated. You survived. You are temporarily living in Magic Valley Town. There are a lot of pirates gathered in the town, many of them have no eyesight and want to attack you, but after you kill a few pirates bloodily, everyone is very afraid of you. They don't dare to come forward to offend you again. You get a stable life for a period of time. During this time, you found Mont Blanc Cricket, got a lot of records about Sky Island from him, and persuaded this guy to help you calculate the next time-specific location where the soaring current appears. At the same time, you are constantly familiar with the talent of ocean affinity, and you have gained another usage. You have the ability to breathe in the ocean, and at the same time, you can ignore the sea pressure. Even if you dive into the deep sea, the dark environment around you will not be able to affect you in the slightest. As long as you are in contact with the sea, you feel that you have become a part of the sea. Half a month later, the soaring sea current came again. Ocean affinity did not give you the slightest warning. You know that you will not encounter threats from nature this time, so you decide to set off for Sky Island. With the help of Cricket, you precisely found the position of the soaring ocean current, and then went all the way up in the terrifying ocean current. The exciting feeling did not make you feel the slightest fear but was full of excitement. Relying on the reinforced ship, the little sailing knowledge in your memory, and the hints from the ocean, you successfully avoided all crises, and finally successfully passed through. After passing through the clouds, you arrive at an altitude of 7,000 meters, which is where the White Sea is located. The thin air around you makes you feel a little uncomfortable, and even your strength is slightly affected. But soon, you get familiar with this environment, and your strength will no longer be affected. You encountered a huge creature in the White Sea, but with your powerful strength, you easily killed all the monsters. At the same time, you captured a monster and let it send you to the entrance to Angel Island. By paying the customs clearance fee, you successfully entered the White Sea and arrived at Sky Island. 
slash 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 end of recap slash 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 chapter 104 soaring sword intent as for your origin although the sky islanders were surprised they didn't react too much after some friendly inquiries you learned that the current god of sky island is ganfall and the others have never heard of enel's name and birka has not yet been destroyed after asking about the specific direction of birka you arrived there by boat looking at the slightly desolate area some doubts appeared in your mind Logically speaking, the current Birka should have been destroyed by Enel, but at the same time, there was a little joy in your heart. The deviation in the plot may not be a bad thing. Some kind of speculation appears in your mind, maybe Enel has not eaten the thunderbolt fruit at this time, this is also your chance. You landed in Birka and began to search for islanders. At the same time, you still haven't forgotten to ask other people about the location of Enel. Under your money offensive, someone told you the location of Enel. You have successfully arrived at the residence of Enel. This future god of thunder and lightning is only 18 or 9 years old. He doesn't have a strong aura on him. He is not much stronger than ordinary people. You didn't choose to appear, but you are secretly observing the other party's every move. In the second year, you lived on Sky Island and never stopped searching for the thunderbolt fruit, but you found nothing. Enel has been under your observation. He is often bullied by other people, and his heart becomes more and more distorted, but the disparity in strength makes him resist the hatred in his heart. No you know the reason why Enel will destroy Birka. In the third year, you still get nothing. Only one month later, under your surveillance, Enel suddenly ran into a forest. This behavior immediately aroused your vigilance, and you quickly followed. Due to the disparity in strength, you were not caught by Enel. Wandering in the forest for about half a day, Enel fell off the cliff because he was chased by wild animals. Fortunately, he was caught by a branch on the rock wall and did not fall to his death. After he landed, he found a fruit on the tree has a strange white pattern. Hungry and thirsty Enel intends to pick the fruit and eat it, but you beat him unconscious first. Looking at the familiar devil fruit, you know that this is the one you've been looking for, you can't wait to pick it off, then peel off the fruit and take a bite. You tasted what is called shit, but you still swallow it. You feel that there is a powerful force in your body, which belongs to the power of thunder and lightning, and you even find that your body can become thunder and lightning. The powerful power makes you ecstatic, but you calm down quickly, and you reach the depths of the forest in a few flashes, and start to practice here with great concentration, developing the thunderous fruit you just got. Not only that, you still haven't forgotten about exercising your swordsmanship and too hacky. In the fourth year, your strength has been greatly improved. You have mastered the power of the thunder fruit in your body, and you have used it in swordsmanship. You feel your strength has improved. Because of your intervention, Enel, who did not eat the devil fruit, died unfortunately. You didn't feel the slightest difference about this, and you were still immersed in your training. Good guy, it was within Yami's consideration to successfully obtain the thunderous fruit, but Enel's death caught him off guard. This unlucky child is too pitiful. He has been bullied since he was a child, and the only chance to change his life against the sky was destroyed by him. Even if he just crossed Enel in the simulation, he's still pitiful. But no matter what, my harvest is very good. I got the devil fruit I wanted, and it is such a powerful thunder fruit. At the same time, it is also used in swordsmanship. If I develop it to a high level, I will definitely become stronger. Then this final evaluation may have to be higher. Muttering to himself, Yami's eyes shone with a faint blue light. This time, the progress of the traversal simulation was smoother than expected, but if the final reward did not yield the thunder fruit, he was afraid that it would be directly cracked. So, next, it would be better to brush up the final evaluation to a high level? Don't let me down? Me? In the fifth year, your development of the thunderous fruit has become more profound, and your strength has undergone earth-shaking changes. You don't know whether you have reached the admiral level, but the vice admiral level is absolutely impossible to be your opponent. Even if you meet my hawk again now, you are confident that you will not die at the hands of the other party. The combination of your swordsmanship and thunder fruit can definitely tie with him. In the sixth year, your development of the thunderbolt fruit has finally reached the level of Enel in the original book. Your observation hacky has evolved, and with the boost of the thunder fruit, the range is enough to cover the entire sky island, and it can receive radio waves and hear everyone's voices. In the seventh year, your development of the thunderbolt fruit finally became slow, and you stopped yourself training. You left the forest and successfully found a large amount of gold hidden on the island. You collected all the gold, and then left the Sky Island on a pirate ship. With your strength, you relied on various shells from the Sky Island to return to the sea without any risk. After identifying the direction nearby, you head towards the direction of the Sabayadi Archipelago. You haven't forgotten what happened before, that celestial dragon who threatened you to kneel with a gun, you are going to kill him, and by the way, take this opportunity to compare the gap between yourself and the Admiral. Along the way, many pirates were interested in the gold on your ship. You didn't hold back your hands. The powerful force killed all the pirates, and threw all the corpses into the ocean to feed the fish. Gradually, you made a name for yourself. But since you did not do evil, the navy did not want to put you on their enemy side so you didn't receive a wanted order. Three months later, you arrived in Sabayadi Archipelago again. You first hid your gold stash, and then you used your observation hacky aura to cover the entire island, and found the man with the strongest aura on the island. You turned into a thunderbolt, and rushed in that direction impatiently. 
Finally, you found that man in the ripoff bar, Dark King Silver Rayleigh. Rayleigh also sensed your arrival, but he didn't feel panicked. Instead, he looked at you with a look of admiration. You unceremoniously explained your purpose of coming and wanted to learn the advanced level of armament hacky from Rayleigh. The other party didn't agree at first, but under your offensive using gold, this old drunkard finally compromised and was willing to teach you a more advanced method of using armament hacky, that is, internal destruction. Of course you know, the other party is not because of greed for money, but probably because of talent. In order to express your sincerity, you gave half of the gold you got from Sky Island to Rayleigh, and the other party readily accepted it. You and Rayleigh left the Sabayati archipelago in a boat, and entered an uninhabited island in the windless zone to train. In order to understand your current strength progress, Raleigh proposed to fight with all your strength, you readily accepted, and then a battle broke out with the left hand of the pirate king on the island. Sword master level swordsmanship combined with the power of the thunderfruit, even if you are still lacking in your armament hacky, your strength still surprised Rayleigh, but the latter is not because of his age, the decline in strength is not obvious. So you have also experienced the top strength of the pirate world. You were defeated, but you were not in a particularly embarrassing situation. The potential you showed surprised Raleigh very much. Afterwards, he began to teach you the advanced usage method of armament hacky. Although you don't have any training talent bonus, in the daily battle with Rayleigh, your progress is very fast. Your armament hacky has also become more and more solid, not only the quantity has become huge, but the quality is also very terrifying. In the seventh year, you have successfully learned how to use internal destruction. Originally, you planned to learn the swordsmanship of the great swordsman of Rayleigh, but he shook his head with a smile, and said that he was old, and the deal with you was concluded, so he just swam away. Although it's a pity, you didn't force it. In any case, the other party is half your teacher. Your strength has changed again, you no longer deliberately pursue other things, but long for a strong opponent, who can make you have the opportunity to advance to the great swordsman in the battle of life and death. So, you returned to the Sabayati archipelago and started to do things on your own initiative. You first beheaded the world nobles who appeared last time, and then ignored the navy that rounded you up, and stayed on the coast waiting for the arrival of the admiral. This time it is still Kizaro who came here, and you directly start a big battle. Kizaro with the shining fruit and you with the thunder fruit are both top notch in strength, and you are not weak at all in terms of speed. The yellow ape. Your swordsmanship has brought a lot of trouble to Kizaro, which made him have no choice but to create the light sword to fight with you in close quarters. A small island was directly collapsed and sunk because of the impact of the attack. This battle lasted for 10 days and nights, but winners still can't be decided. However, your injury is obviously more serious, but Kizaru can't do anything about you. The Navy headquarters, who realized something was wrong, sent Akainu to support, and successfully arrived at the position where you were fighting with Kizaru. A general in his heyday appeared, causing you to fall into a hard fight when you were in a weak state, and Kizuro harassed you from the side, you suddenly become shaky. You originally wanted to break through the limit, and you didn't intend to run away, but squeezed the limit of your body, and fought desperately with the two admirals. Your fierce offensive made them very afraid. Another five days have passed, and you are covered in cuts and bruises, and your body is almost completely soaked in blood. Similarly, Kizaro and Akainu are not feeling well. They are already dressed in rags, and injuries of all sizes can be seen everywhere, and their physical strength is very exhausted. However, Akainu's eyes are full of determination, and he will never let you leave. Actually, you didn't even think about leaving. Akainu cooperated with Kizaro to make a terrifying attack, and you were unable to dodge. Between life and death, you were lucky to seize the opportunity of that moment and successfully realized your own path, your sword skill has successfully broken through to the level of the great swordsman. You concentrated all your strength on the sword, and then swung it at Akainu recklessly. The next moment, your body was smashed into a sieve by lava and light bullets, and then fell straight into the sea, but the slash you swung also cut off Akainu's right hand, leaving a deep bone visible even on his neck. If Kizaru hadn't reacted quickly and pulled Akainu away in a hurry, he would not have survived. You sink into the bottom of the sea, and the breath of life disappears. You are dead. Due to the death of the host, the final evaluation of this traversal simulation is A, and you can choose one of the following rewards to realize. The sword skills learned in this simulation. The hacky and physical skills of internal destruction learned in this simulation. The thunder devil fruit and its development level, version without side effects, obtained in this simulation. Purple talent ocean affinity. What a wonderful simulation life. Yami couldn't help but shake his head, his face full of emotion. It has to be said that although his sudden death is reasonable, he still feels the same when he sees his other self making such a choice. Facing two admirals alone and dying in battle, that scene must be very romantic. This reward is really great, but it's a pity that there are so many good things but I can only choose one, but it helped me eliminate a mistake before I started to choose. Looking at the fourth reward, Yami's face suddenly turned black. This purple talent ocean affinity must be there to make up the numbers. There is no way to compare it with the other three rewards. Only a fool would probably choose this thing. If the familia that Yami joins is the Poseidon familia, there is probably a slight possibility that he will choose ocean affinity, and there may be hidden things in this talent that have not been fully developed. But that is something for the future, if there is a chance to develop this talent in the future, he may choose to play for fun. 
But now, sorry, there are only three options in his eyes. It's such a difficult choice, why is the final evaluation not S plus this time? In this way, I can choose three rewards and obtain these three rewards directly. Scratching his head in distress, Yami became a little manic. But after calming down, he still need to make a choice. Since there is no way to have all of them, he can only temporarily divide the degree of difficulty of obtaining, and the easier it is to obtain, the lower the priority. The location of the thunderbolt fruit has been successfully found, and it can be obtained again. The same is true for the advanced armament Haki. He can go to the Sabayadi archipelago to learn it again from Rayleigh. But swordsmanship is not so easy to improve. This is the swordsmanship of a great swordsman, and it is something that he realized before he died when he traveled through the simulated world. That kind of opportunity is not something that can be grasped every time he simulates. Whether he can break through next time, if he gives up this time, the instability is too great. So from this point of view, there seems to be no doubt about what reward to choose. System, I choose rewards 1, I want sword skills. After his voice fell, Yami did not get a response from the system. However, at the next moment, a terrifying sword intent shot out from his body without any warning at all, which made him subconsciously start to control the power in his body and the power in his mind. Sensation of vaginal swelling. Fortunately, this sword intent came and went quickly, and it disappeared in the blink of an eye. However, everyone in Hephaestus's familia could feel the sword intent very clearly. Even Sabeki, who was forging iron, had an extremely solemn expression at this moment, and dropped her work immediately as she rushed towards Hephaestus's room. Even as a first-level adventurer like her felt deeply threatened by the power just now, in order to prevent accidents from happening, she must rush to the side of her goddess as soon as possible to protect the latter's safety. Otherwise if an accident happens to Hephaestus, the whole Hephaestus familia will collapse with a bang. Sabeki, why are you in such a hurry? Passing the corner, the face of Hephaestus came into view instantly. Seeing that the other party had no accident, Sabeki, who was running fast, breathed a sigh of relief involuntarily. It's good that you are fine, Hephaestus Sama. Just now I felt a sharp force in the forging room. The power is so powerful that even I feel like falling into an ice cave, so I came to you in a hurry. I feel it too. If I'm not wrong, it should be that kid Yami. He's really getting more and more mysterious. When she said this, Hephaestus had a complicated expression. Yami? This is too exaggerated, who can make such a big change while staying in the familia? Sabeki obviously didn't believe it. Hephaestus didn't explain too much, but with bursts of brilliance in her eyes, she murmured softly, whether it's true or not, just go and see. Creator's Thoughts Chapter 105, Chapter 00105, Extraordinary Ability Value? People from Another World. When Hephaestus and Sabeki came together, Yami knew nothing about it. At this time, he was in the state of absorbing his sword intent, until he absorbed all the spurting sword intent, and the vision in the familiar garrison disappeared. Yami also reopened his eyes. Swish. A dazzling light flashed out, and Yami's eyes seemed to contain endless sword intent, but they disappeared under his control, and the aura of the whole person became restrained again. Feeling the terrifying power just now, a faint joy appeared on his face. Is this the great swordsman? It's such a terrifying power. I feel that I can cut Goliath in half with a single strike, and it will definitely not take too much effort. Clenching his fist, Yami's eyes shone with confidence. Although this traversal simulation failed to obtain all the desired things, the final reward selection was undoubtedly very successful. This kind of improvement is really terrifying? Too bad, the aura leaked out when I broke through just now, and it must have been discovered by others. How do I explain this situation? After a short period of excitement, Yami quickly regained his senses. He suddenly recalled what happened just now, and scratched his head quite a headache. This is something that can't be hidden at all. The key is how to explain it to his goddess. After all, lying in front of a god who can see through people's hearts is not a good choice. This will not only change the relationship between you and your main god. If it is too bad, it may cause unnecessary conflicts. It is a very difficult situation to deal with. Um. At this moment, Yami, who has sharp ears and eyes, easily caught the sound of footsteps coming from outside the door. There were only two people in number, and the distance was getting closer. Obviously they are coming to him. This situation is really challenging. I don't know if it's a blessing or a curse. But I can't escape the disaster that has unfolded, so a rational explanation is crucial. Let's engage in a meaningful conversation. While the system's existence can't be disclosed, I can strategically use details from my background to confound public understanding. After quick thinking, Yami quickly made up his mind. He took the initiative to get up and open the door, just in time the faces of Hephaestus and Sabeki came into view. The sudden opening of the wooden door made everyone stunned, but after seeing Yami's calm face, they probably guessed something. Good evening, Hephaestus-sama, Captain, come in and sit down. Not refusing, Hephaestus entered the room first. On the other hand, after Tsubeki appeared, she looked at Yami curiously, her eyes full of inquiry, she wanted to see what was so special about this little guy. When he became an adventurer for the first time, he had that kind of magical skill when he entered the dungeon for the first time. As a result, he was favored by the sword princess of the Loki familia, and later he had the ability to travel to another world. If it is just hearsay, absolutely she does not believe that adventurers can actually have these things. However, this situation really appeared before her eyes. 
But now, the other party has changed again. The aura that escaped just now made her, a first level adventurer, feel the threat of death. This really made her curious? At this time, Sabeki can't even care about the unspoken rules of adventurers. Hey, Yami, what did you do again? The aura just now should have come from your room. Did you get another very precious skill or magic? Is this kind of thing wholesale here? The rare skills that other adventurers dream of come to you for free. Although I'm just a blacksmith, just thinking about it, I'm also doing it for other adventurers. It feels unfair. Yami was a little dazed when he heard such a large series of words in one breath. Then he gave a slight chuckle, and under the half-smile expression of Hephaestus, he explained, Captain, you think too much, it's not a skill, it's just a breakthrough in swordsmanship. I couldn't control it, that's why I accidentally leaked my aura, sorry for disturbing your rest. Are you sure this is a breakthrough? I've never seen anyone with such an amazing swordsmanship breakthrough. It's too exaggerated. Obviously, Sabeki does not accept Yami's statement. Even if she doesn't care about strength, but after hearing Yami's words, she will still feel very dissatisfied as an adventurer. You think it's easy to become stronger? This is what the book says, if you get it cheap, be nice. The aura you released before made me, a first-level adventurer, feel palpitations. Although that feeling is only fleeting, I will definitely not feel wrong. You have powerful power. I don't believe that this is what swordsmanship can achieve, you must know that you are a low-level adventurer. To be precise, he is already a high-level adventurer now. Hephaestus suddenly interjected, a few days ago, Yami had already accumulated enough ability points and great achievements to complete his upgrade. Damn, you're a monster. Sabeki widened her eyes and finally gave such an evaluation. In less than a month, he completed the upgrade from a rookie adventurer. This is much more terrifying than the records left by the Loki Familia. If it gets out, it will definitely cause an uproar. Only this monster in front of her can do it? Okay, let's discuss these things later. Yami, do you mind if I update your ability value now? Hephaestus looked at Yami with a flat face, and the latter was slightly taken aback, then nodded very generously. Of course it's no problem, then I will trouble you, Hephaestus Sama. After speaking, Yami took off his shirt and lay down on the bed. Now that the decision has been made to be frank and honest, there is nothing to hide. What's more, even if it can be concealed now, but no matter what, he is a member of Hephaestus's familia, and sooner or later one day he will need to update his ability value. Anyway, since his goddess is so kind and gentle, Yami doesn't have to worry about this problem at all. Seeing his calmness, Hephaestus also realized something, the look in her eyes became more and more gentle, and she sat down on the side of the bed. Suddenly thinking of something, the red-haired goddess turned her head to look at Sabeki beside her. The meaning of those eyes is already very clear? Ahem, Hephaestus-sama, can you let me see the specific situation of Yami? I'm really curious, don't worry, even if I see something I shouldn't see, I definitely won't disclose it. No, you also know that there are things you shouldn't see, so what are you still doing here? Ignoring Sabeki's ingratiating smile, Hephaestus didn't want to back down. There was no way, Sabeki could only look at Yami, showing a pitiful look, which made the latter involuntarily show a helpless expression. His captain is already like this, so what else can he say? He can only agree. Hephaestus Sama, why don't you let captain stay here? Anyway, there is nothing shameful, not to mention, she has already followed us to another world, is there anything better and mysterious than this in my ability value? Anyway, his system will not be displayed in his ability value, other skills, and so on are not important at all, even if it is known by others, there is no problem. So, letting Sabeki stay is not a problem. Hearing these words, Hephaestus turned around and rolled her eyes angrily. I'm the only villain, right? Since you've already agreed, it's up to you guys. Anyway, I've already reminded you, so hurry up and turn around, I'm about to start. After the words fell, Hephaestus patted Yami's back hard, as if venting her dissatisfaction. However, the gods who have already sealed their divine power can't shake the current Yami, so the actions that are clearly a lesson have actually turned into flirting. Even Sabeki, who was supposed to be happy at the side, couldn't help showing a look of surprise when seeing the Hephaestus in this appearance. Immediately afterwards, her gaze became teasing. But Hephaestus has already put all her attention on Yami, so naturally she didn't notice this situation, otherwise, if she finds out how the captain of her familia treats her, she will definitely treat this person who doesn't know respect a serious repair. Unfortunately, there is probably no such opportunity, the blood of the gods dripped, and the familiar blue sacred text began to dense again. After a while, all the ability values of Yami were updated, revealing the current situation. The pupils of the Hephaestus, who were originally looking forward to it, shrank suddenly, and the whole person froze in place. After a while, she regained her senses. Yami, I agree with Sabeki's statement now, you are such a monster. What? Let me see, let me see. Hearing this, Sabeki hurried forward and stretched her neck to look at the sheepskin scroll in the hand of Hephaestus and the information about the ability value of Yami is printed on it. Here it a Yami. LV.2. Strength, 1 0 rightward arrow X. Endurance, 1 0 rightward arrow X. Dexterity, 1 0 rightward arrow X. Agility, 1 0 rightward arrow X. Magic, I 0 rightward arrow D501. Development ability. Blacksmithing B. Abnormal resistance I. Magic. Mole of love C. Use the magic mole to charm the opposite sex. 
Women who come face to face with you will have strong loving feelings towards you if activated. Perfect mimicry. Transformation magic. Completely change appearance, including height, body shape, age, gender, smell, etc., and ethnic characteristics can also be imitated. Singing language, Gunara, God of Darkness, Woohoo, Transformation of the Dark Demon, Skill, Almighty Man, sometimes can get unexpected improvement. Transparent World, Conceal Your Aura, the ability to predict actions and dodge attacks will be greatly improved. Able to see the opponent's anatomy and weaknesses. Breath of the Sun, Enhance Physical Ability, Slash can carry the terrifying solar fire. The damage to evil enemies is increased, and when fighting evil enemies, the full ability is greatly increased by 2. Mark. Increase heart rate and oxygen supply capacity, greatly enhance combat ability. Able to help recognized people to open their mark. Brave C. Nalayate mental interference such as coercion, confusion, and confusion. Basic attributes are doubled during the battle. Kenshin transparency. When equipped with a sword, it will temporarily add the development ability swordsman. The level of understanding of sword skills has been greatly improved. Can communicate with the blade in the hand. Effect increases according to level. Spearman genius. When equipped with a long spear, you will temporarily obtain the development ability lanceman. Comprehension of spear skills moderate increase. Effect increases according to level. Six slice. Shaving, iron block, paper painting, moon step, tempest kick, finger gun. Physical arts beyond the limit of human physical ability. Dragon claw fist. Special martial arts using claws as weapon. Enhance finger and grip strength. Sword intent. When equipped with a sword, increase the sharpness of the attack can cause damage to spirits. The situation that has never appeared before is now printed on the parchment in front of them. Even Hephaestus, who is the main god of the familia, can't see the specific values of the five basic ability values at all, which has never happened before. She has been in the lower realm for many years, and she has never heard of this situation from other gods. At this time, Hephaestus also had to admit that the little guy in front of her was just as described by the skill he possessed. Almighty, this kind of improvement is indeed unexpected. Hey, what are these things? It doesn't matter if you have so many skills. Why is there no specific value for the basic ability value? Could it be that you have hidden his stats? Hephaestus Sama. After looking for a long time, but didn't see what she wanted, Sabeki asked with some doubts. But even so, she didn't take her eyes off Yami's ability value. After all, compared with other people, the latter's ability value is also too much information. There are two magic skills, and more than ten skills, and all of them are rare skills. What are you kidding? It's too unfair? I don't have that ability. It's also the first time I've seen such a weird ability value. Do you know now why I don't want to tell you Yami's ability value? Well, I probably know it. After reading it, I feel a little depressed now. Sabeki, who has learned a lot of advanced knowledge through various books, her face collapsed in an instant, and she looked a little depressed, and she didn't know what to say. But Hephaestus didn't have time to pay attention to her reaction, but handed the parchment in her hand to Yami. When the latter saw it, he also had an unexpected look on his face. He was still thinking about how to reflect the rewards he got from traversing the simulation system, especially the physical strength gained from physical skills, but he didn't expect this to be the case. Those values that cannot be displayed are probably beyond the record range of God's grace. After all, Yami's current physical strength should not be weaker than that of a first-level adventurer, so it is normal for him not to be able to show it under the current circumstances. Yami, the surprises you brought me are really getting bigger and bigger. Hearing this sentence, Yami came back to his senses, and looked up at the Hephaestus, who hardly concealed her complicated expression. In this regard, he can only show an embarrassed smile, trying to get away with it. However, the red-haired goddess didn't seem to want to let him go, and continued to ask, Since I have the opportunity today, can you tell me about your origin in detail? You shouldn't be a so-called outsider, right? You have so many magical skills, some of which I haven't even seen before, and your swordsmanship is exactly the same as Connie and the others. The most important point is that you know the other world very well, which is not something that outsiders should know at all, so you should not be from our world. In your words, you should also come from another world, am I right? Under Hephaestus's astonishing words, Sabeki suddenly showed a look of surprise. The carefree one-eyed blacksmith suddenly turned her head to look at Yami, wanting to get some help from the latter. She wants to know the answer to this question from Yami's face. However, Yami's expression did not change at all, as if he had expected this situation to unfold. Facing the eyes of the two, he took a moment to move. There was a helpless expression on his cheek, and he sighed softly, as expected of you, Hephaestus Sama, you guessed these things so easily. You're right, I do come from a different world, but it's not the world of Connie and the others. My world doesn't have any supernatural powers, only ordinary people and technology. But the historical trend is indeed almost the same, which is why I understand the world so well. Having said that, Yami slowly raised his head, his eyes revealing a hint of inquiry. This is the secret I have been hiding all this time. I originally planned to tell you, Hephaestus Sama, when the time is right, but I didn't expect such an accident to happen. Chapter 106, Chapter 00106, The Promise with Goddess. Yami told the truth without any concealment, and Sabeki on the side had grown her mouth wide listening to his description. 
Hephaestus, on the other hand, couldn't help curling her lips after hearing these words, and couldn't help rubbing her temples, although I have already guessed it, but when I heard you admit it, I'm still shocked. So far, none of the gods have found a way to other worlds. I was already surprised when Connie and the others miraculously appeared in front of me. I didn't expect the most astonishing result to be you. So, the extra skills you have now were learned from another different world. Speaking of this, Hephaestus's eyes are full of scrutiny, and her words also contain determination. Um, theoretically, it can indeed be said that I have the ability to communicate with other worlds, and I can travel to other different worlds. After that, people in other worlds will probably also be able to visit this world with my permission. Yami was not surprised that Hephaestus could guess his identity. After all, the other party is a goddess who has lived for hundreds of millions of years, and she has much more knowledge than himself to pull out a single hair. It's just that he didn't expect that, except for the system, even his underpants were almost exposed. Is it really like this? It's amazing, the different world is really amazing. After hearing Yami's words, Hephaestus's eyes flickered slightly. Today's conversation surprised her, a god who has lived for hundreds of millions of years. Being able to become the first goddess to go to another world can be said to be ahead of other gods, but the situation behind is a little troublesome. If other gods know about this situation, it will be very troublesome at that time. Although the Hephaestus familia is a craftsman familia in Orario, because the equipment and weapons they manufacture are of excellent quality, they are also loved by many families. But if compared with the key of another world, no matter how powerful the familia is, it will be useless, unless it has the power to suppress the entire Orario, just like the Zeus familia and the Hera familia in the past. During this period, no other familia members dared to do anything wrong. If it wasn't for the destruction of the Black Dragon, I'm afraid that the entire Orario would still be under their rule. With this kind of treasure in her hands, maybe it's not a treasure, but maybe it's also a hot potato? I'm curious about one thing. Since you have this kind of power, why did you choose to join my familia? In comparison, other exploration families will be more helpful, such as the Freya familia and the Loki familia etc. No matter which one it is, it must be stronger than my familia. So, can you tell me why? Hephaestus's gaze was very sharp, staring at Yami's cheek meticulously. I don't know why, this goddess who is usually calm, is also full of urgency at this time. This question made her very concerned, so she asked subconsciously. If it was normal, she would never ask such embarrassing questions. After all, children from the lower world cannot lie in front of the gods, and this kind of answer, no doubt, may affect the relationship between them. Thinking of that situation, Hephaestus couldn't help feeling a little nervous. This kind of situation has never happened to her even in the heavens. At that time, the gods were in all kinds of battles. For fun, they were all divided into factions and fought to death. Only after the lower realms appeared did they stop. Under the influence of the people of the lower realms, a little change has taken place. Although life and death are very common for gods, they still cause some ripples to them. At least, in front of the children they love very much, they still feel very uncomfortable. Hephaestus Sama, you are probably mistaken. In fact, before I joined the familia, I was just an ordinary person whose physical fitness was worse than that of ordinary people. The purpose of joining the Hephaestus familia was actually stated as early as the very beginning. After that, only when you bestowed me your god's favor, and my ability was awakened. At the beginning, I just wanted to join a powerful familia, no matter in terms of financial or strength, after comprehensive consideration, I chose you, Hephaestus Sama. In fact, the first target was Hestia's, but I was also a neat before like Hestia, and I didn't have any advantages. Joining a new familia is undoubtedly a dead end, even if I like Hestia quite a bit. However, under rationale, I finally made my choice to come to you, Hephaestus Sama, to give it a try. It's just that I didn't expect that you were really willing to accept me, and when you granted me the grace of God, I successfully awakened my ability, and you and the captain were very kind to me, and the strange thoughts in my mind have also disappeared. I only now want to work hard to become stronger, and then help develop the Hephaestus Familia. During this process, I also found that my goddess is also very beautiful. I like this kind of atmosphere very much, so there is no need to think wildly. This is my most sincere thought. Yami stopped talking, and then looked at Hephaestus with a calm expression. However, these touching words did not satisfy the red-haired goddess at all, on the contrary, after being slightly stunned, she showed a rather displeased expression, stop making such jokes. This time it was Yami who was taken aback, and then realized that Hephaestus never thought of herself as a beautiful woman, it seems that it was because her plain makeup under the blindfold was very scary. The other gods made fun of her and frightened her own children at first. Also because of this reason, she is quite insecure about her appearance. That's why when Yami said such words, the gentle red-haired goddess showed an unhappy expression. Yami, who realized the source of the problem, chuckled and shook his head, and then his expression became very serious. He didn't dodge her gaze, he looked into Hephaestus' eyes unswervingly, My lord, you should know if I'm lying, the basic aesthetics is an inherent skill of an otaku, so I will never joke about it. Hehe, <laughs> about this point, after you see my real face, you will probably change your mind. Hephaestus raised her hand and touched her right eye, and said these words in a self-deprecating manner. It's rare to see her with that look on her face. Regarding this point, 
Sabeki was also slightly silent, and did not participate in this topic. Then let me try it out. Ah. Neither of the two people in the room reacted, and Yami appeared in front of Hephaestus in an instant, and directly stretched out his hand to hold the red-haired goddess cheek in his palm. When the latter didn't react at all, he had already stretched out his hand, and gently pulled off the mask that completely covered her entire side face. His movements were very gentle, as if he was afraid of offending a beautiful woman. Perhaps it was also because of this gentleness that Hephaestus trembled, but she didn't say anything to stop him. However, anyone with a discerning eye can see the anxiety of this goddess. My lord. Seeing this scene, Sabeki murmured softly, showing concern, but did not stop Yami. In this tacit situation, Yami saw the hidden face of Hephaestus, which was also the scene he had always wanted to witness with his own eyes. When he sees it for the first time, the visual impact is indeed very powerful. What kind of face is this? The right face is densely wrinkled, the upper part is scorched black, completely wrapping the right eye in the center, but the lower part is completely blood red, rotten like old tree roots, the two colors merge together, as if forming the face of a devil, completely different from her left cheek. The most frightening thing was that eye, there was no white eyeball, and no eyeball. The whole eye was a deep black, but the place where the eyeball was located was a strange white. It's hard to imagine that this is what happens to a woman's face. Yami's pupils shrank slightly. Because he had made psychological preparations in advance, he was not frightened, but just a little surprised. He really didn't know how to describe this face. It is indeed terrifying to ordinary people, and it is also true to him. However, this is still within the acceptable range. After a while, Hephaestus reached out and knocked off Yami's left hand, straightened the mask again, subconsciously took two steps back, and turned her back to the latter. Do you still think I'm pretty now? After saying that, Hephaestus didn't get a response and felt a little discouraged, and they could see her slightly twitching shoulders, forcibly suppressing bad memories from the past, it doesn't matter, anyway, you are not the first person to show such an expression. It's okay to feel scared. If you want to leave and join Hestia's familia, I won't stop it. After all, I can rest assured that such an excellent child can be handed over to Hestia. Before she finished speaking, Hephaestus felt herself entering a warm embrace. Yami went straight forward a few steps, took the fragile red-haired goddess into his arms, tightly wrapped his hands around her slender waist, and pressed her tightly in front of him. Yami. You overthink, Hephaestus-sama. I'm not scared by your appearance, it's just a tad irksome. Your face isn't frightening, I simply see it as the deity who crafted the sunset with a divine kiss, leaving behind a piece of twilight. As I said before, Hephaestus-sama, in my eyes and in my heart, you will always be a very beautiful woman. At some point, Yami had let go of his embrace and turned Hephaestus's face around. The usual capable red-haired goddess, now her eyes were filled with tears, and her pupils were trembling slightly, her pitiful appearance was completely different from before. Yami reached out to wipe away the tears on her face, then lowered his head slightly, and slowly moved closer. Sabeki, who was silent from the beginning to the end, widened his eyes instantly at this moment. Seeing such a bold move by Yami, she was a little dazed, and then fell into surprise. It's too exciting to witness her own goddess to be kissed in front of her? Thinking of this, Sabeki's eyes flashed with excitement. There was no sound in the room, and not long after, the closed door was suddenly pushed open from the inside, Hephaestus trotted away all the way, Sabeki behind her had a smile on her cheek, but seemed to be afraid of something didn't dare not make any sound at all. However, the slightly raised thumbs behind her already explained all this. Yami, who also came to the door of the room, looked at the fleeing Hephaestus with a smile on his face, with a deep smile in his eyes, recalling the touch just now, he can't help but smack his mouth. Is this the taste of a goddess? It's really memorable. Isn't it just to create a work that will surprise you? I will do it, and I will create a weapon that surpasses you. Just wait for it, Hephaestus-sama. In Yami's eyes, gleaming with intense heat. Originally, he only wanted to become stronger, and he had been aimless, but now he finally has his own goal. He knows how difficult it is to create a weapon that even Hephaestus will be amazed by, but he will never choose to give up, everything is possible in the heavens and the world. Whether it is the demigod Orn of Runeterra, the blacksmith of Arad, or the dwarf craftsman of Marvel World, the forging technology is outstanding, and he can find beyond the existence of Hephaestus's forging technology, Yami will learn from those people, and then complete this goal. Now that the stamp has been stamped, it is absolutely impossible for Hephaestus to fall in love with someone else. Having made a decision in his heart, Yami closed the door again, with a faint sense of urgency in his eyes. Today's traversal simulation world can no longer meet his requirements. The world of One Piece does not have powerful blacksmith masters although the Supreme Sword has its merits. But at present, people in the world of One Piece are basically unable to forge works of that level. However, proper communication is still possible, maybe he can learn some useful things from the forging technology in another world. Then continue to simulate, in order to embrace the goddess as soon as possible. Full of fighting spirit, he sat on the bed and gently sniffed the body fragrance left by Hephaestus in the room. Yami immediately felt excited. Now that he ve come to the world of sword and magic, it's meaningless if he can't make a goddess his wife. Coupled with the existence of the system, Yami's ambitions have become even bigger. Whether it is Hestia, the goddess of stove, or Hephaestus, the goddess of blacksmithing, he wants them all. System, simulate again. 
Ding, the host's command has been detected, the simulation is on, and talents are being randomly drawn. Ding, the talent has been extracted successfully. The talents you can choose are as follows, green talent Midas touch, blue talent bean soldiers, orange talent last stand. Please choose one of the following three talents as the initial talent for this simulation. Green talent Midas touch, you have the ability to turn stones into gold, but gold can only last for 3000 years. Once 3000 years pass, the gold will turn into stone again. Blue talent bean soldier, you have the ability to turn beans into puppets, but the strength of the puppet you made is only one fifth of yours, and the duration is one hour. Orange talent last stand, your vitality will become more tenacious, and when you are dying, all injuries on your body will be recovered, and your strength will be greatly improved, but it is only effective at the first time, that is, it can only be used once in a lifetime. Good guy, orange talent, this is the first time I've seen it. Yami was slightly dazzled by the white screen of the system, but Yami still had no intention of dodging. After all, the random talents in front of him are really delicious, let alone other things, in terms of quality alone, these three talents are more effective than the random talents before. Green, blue and the first scene orange. It's a little too surprising when he was treated like this? Could it be that after kissing the goddess, you will also get the blessings of the gods, so as to improve your luck? If there is such a benefit, I will go to Hephaestus and take a bite. If this goes on, won't I become the strongest sooner or later? Muttering in his mouth, Yami also became very excited. Unfortunately, this approach is clearly not possible. Sooner or later there will be a chance. After reluctantly cheering himself up, Yami chose the only orange talent in his mind, Last Stand, which has such a good effect and can save his life. Having one more life, if he doesn't choose it, it would be a bit unreasonable. Ding, the talent selection is successful, and the simulation begins. Creator's Thoughts Novelet underscore seeker novelet underscore seeker TL slash N, my new project is out. You can check it if you like it. It's a fun to read fanfic. You'll definitely enjoy it. Title, Lord of a World, I have a group chat as my cheat. Comment. 16 comment. Vote. 3 left. Chapter 107, Chapter 00107, Facing the Beast Pirates. Ding, the talent selection is successful, and the simulation begins. On the first day, you successfully crossed to the coast of Shimatsuki village. You ignore the frightened villagers around you, recognize the direction of his hind dojo, and disappear directly in place. Under your extreme speed, you soon arrived at the familiar venue. As the owner of the dojo, Koshiro sensed your arrival. Several people appeared from the dojo and stopped in front of you with a serious expression on their face. You know the reason why Koshiro is so vigilant, so you explain your purpose. In your description, you have given yourself the identity of a blacksmith and a swordsman. You heard that there is a senior blacksmith in Shimatsuki village, so you want to come and have a chat. Koshiro expressed doubts about your words, but after you showed your tyrannical swordsmanship and was defeated by you, he is still unwilling to tell you the whereabouts of the swordsmith. You know, the target you are looking for is Shimatsuki Kosaburo, the father of Koshiro. The root change. Looking at the changes in the simulation process, Yami was a little surprised. However, all of this seems to be reasonable. The development of the time-traveling simulation will most likely change according to his own ideas. Just like if he wants to gain great strength, the self in the time-traveling simulation will take priority over improving his strength. Whether it's swordsmanship or body skill, or looking for devil fruit. Now, because of what happened just now, he wants to enhance his forging technology, so there will be a completely different simulation route. After all, Yami just wanted to have a good exchange of forging knowledge with the blacksmiths in the world of One Piece. And Kozabero Shimatsuki, the swordsmith who escaped from Wano country, was naturally included in his list. This is the swordsmith who forged Kuna slash Soro sword, Wado Ikimanji, and Inma. Needless to say, his skills are absolutely outstanding in the field of swordsmith. Therefore, it is also reasonable to want to communicate with him. Then let me see what the results of this crossing simulation will be, and I hope I won't be disappointed. As he spoke, Yami's eyes fell back to the white screen of the system. Even though Koshiro is very stubborn, you did not choose to use extreme means. No matter what, this man in front of you is your former master, even if the other party doesn't remember it at all. You once again expressed your thoughts sincerely, saying that you are only here to learn from a swordsmith, and you promised to forge a longsword in front of Koshiro as evidence. At this moment, a figure came from not far away, it was an old man with white hair. This is exactly the Shimatsuki Kozabero you are looking for. Shimoyu Kozabero understood your purpose of coming, believed what you said, and invited you to his residence. You nodded and agreed, and then followed him. You have seen a lot of forging-related materials here, and there are also many excellent weapons on the shelf. After a short conversation, Kozabero began to chat with you about forging knowledge, you answered fluently, and the muddy eyes of this old swordsmith suddenly lit up and immediately invited you to show him. There are only very ordinary materials here, but with your solid basic skills, even if it is just ordinary ore, the quality of the weapons you make is very good. And like seeing appears, he communicate with you without reservation. You don't have much forging experience, but Kozabero Shimatsuki's novel ideas make you feel refreshed, and his life's experience also makes you feel that you have benefited a lot, and your forging technology is also steadily improving. 
Three months later, you have almost learned all the forging skills of Kozabero Shimatsuki. Your talent amazed the other party, and he wanted to accept you as his disciple, but he had nothing to teach you, and at the same time gained a lot from you, so he dismissed this idea. Then, you return to the Ishine Dojo and learn the two Haki from Koshiro. With your strength, you can easily awaken Armament Haki and Observation Haki. Not only that, Koshiro wants to ask you about swordsmanship. You agree, and tell all your swordsmanship insights. At the same time, you accepted Kuna as your apprentice again. The rich background makes it easier for you to train apprentices. Under your training, Kuna's strength has taken changes. According to your suggestion, Kuna chose to change the position of the whetstone and survived successfully. You successfully changed Kuna's fate. Three months later, you plan to leave. Although Kuna was very reluctant, but under the persuasion of Koshiro, she finally accepted this reality, but the girl still made an agreement with you to meet again in the sea in the future. With the help of Koshiro, you have your own ship and set out to enter the Grand Line. Along the way, you encountered a lot of dangers, but with your strong strength, you survived all of them without any danger, and successfully arrived at Mock Town. You modified the ship and waited for the coming of the Soaring Current. The first time the sea current surged into the sky, you knew that you would encounter danger, so you did not choose to go up the current, and you still stayed in Mock Town, waiting for the second sea current to skyrocket. After a period of time, the second current comes, and you successfully board it. After some adventures, you arrived at the White Sea, caught a monster to lead the way, arrived at the Gate of Heaven, and then drove the boat to Birka. After working hard, you found the existence of the Thunder Devil Fruit again, and swallowed it without hesitation. You gained the power of the Thunder Fruit again. It really went smoothly enough. Sure enough, as the number of traversal simulations increases, the subsequent simulations will basically become extremely easy, but the final evaluation will not easily meet the requirements, and more things need to be done. Witnessing the changes through the simulation process, Yami's expression is very excited. Needless to say, in the simulated world that he knows very well, it is rare to encounter danger. I'm afraid that after clearing the world of One Piece, his strength will undergo earth-shaking changes again, and I'm afraid it will be easier for him to face other simulated worlds later. Therefore, there is a high probability that this situation will occur frequently in the future. Just then, the simulation process changed again. In the second year, you stayed in Birka to develop your devil fruit, and successfully applied it to your swordsmanship. In the third year, you left the Sky Island and returned to the sea. You set off again and came to the Sabayati Archipelago. You used a large amount of gold and successfully gained the approval of Rayleigh. He is willing to teach you the advanced armament hacky. In the fourth year, you have successfully completed your training, and you can go one step further. You coated the ship in advance, beheaded the world nobles that came your way, and then directly began to accumulate air, sank the ship into the sea, and headed towards the Fishman Island. Your luck is not bad this time, you have successfully arrived at the Fishman Island. Because you once killed a large number of pirates, and at the same time killed the celestial dragons in the Sabayati Archipelago, you were on the wanted warrant, and just for the first time, the bounty came to a full billion Bailey's death or alive. The king of Fishman Island is very afraid of you, and offer you delicious food and drink. You are not interested in ruling the Fishman Island, so you didn't take action here, but at your request, the king of the Fishman Island dedicated the evil medicine to you. Afterwards, you prepared enough supplies and left Fishman Island directly. You have arrived at the second half of the Grand Line, the New World. The weather in the New World is even worse, and the pirates are also stronger, but it doesn't affect you at all. For you, except for the powerhouses of the Admiral level, the rest will not pose the slightest threat to you. Your destination is very important. Clearly headed in the direction of Wano Country. In the fifth year, you arrived at Wano Country. Here has been ruled by Kaido, you went to the island quietly, successfully found Kojiki Sukiyaki, explained to him the purpose of your coming, and wanted to exchange forging skills with him. You showed great strength, which surprised Kojiki Sukiyaki, but he was unable to forge sword you want due to lack of materials. In this regard, you said that the materials will be handed over by you. You forcibly borrowed Inma, rushed into the capital of flowers, and directly attacked the general's mansion. With your strong strength, you killed Orakai, and his subordinates were also wiped out. You found a lot of precious ores in the treasury of the general's mansion, and packed them back. When Kojiki Sukiyaki learned of your behavior that day, he was very surprised, and then expressed his sincerest gratitude to you, and said that he would show his forging skills without reservation. In the next few days, you will stay here to communicate and forge with Kojiki Sukiyaki. Kojiki Sukiyaki's forging skills are slightly different from Kozabero, but they are almost on PAR. Under his demonstration, you still learned a lot. One month later, you once again mastered the forging skills of Kojiki Sukiyaki to the fullest. At this moment, Kaido's subordinates found you, but you directly defeated and beheaded them easily. Your whereabouts have been exposed, you did not choose to flee immediately, but stayed where you were, and started forging with the remaining materials, and you are going to forge a sword that suits you. After continuous learning, your forging technology has far surpassed before, coupled with high-quality materials, with everything in place, your forging process is very smooth. A week later, you successfully forged the weapon Yami TL-N, means darkness while MC name means shadow, which is comparable to the Supreme Sword. 
Kojiki Sukiyaki witnessed this process with his own eyes, and his eyes showed enthusiasm, expressing his admiration for your talent. You were about to test your sword, but the Hundred Beasts pirates came to you again. Even if you killed the previous pirates, the area of Wano country is not too big, and your trace was still found under the sea of people searching by the Hundred Beasts pirates. In the face of hundreds of enemies, you pick up the Yami and unreservedly display the swordsmanship of the Great Swordsman level. No one in the Hundred Beasts Pirates is your opponent, even if almost all members are Zoan Devil Fruit users, but the gap in strength is too great, you easily kill them all. The Dark Blade is not stained with blood, and all the pirates you kill are terrified. The Beast Pirates attacked with three disasters, even if the three joined forces, they still couldn't suppress you. Under your powerful strength, two of them were even covered in cuts. Your strength scares everyone. Ah, the development ability transformed from the forging talent is too powerful. I actually created a sword blade of the highest level in such a short period of time. With the blessing of this kind of good sword, I am afraid that there is really no one in the Beast Pirates other than Kaido that can be my opponent. But his firepower is not comparable to the Admiral's, that is a gap of two dimensions. If it goes on like this, it seems that this time I can get a very high evaluation. Yami's eyes flickered with a faint light, and he was very satisfied with the situation in front of him. The smooth development of the simulation process is somewhat unexpected, and luck seems to be good, and there is no overly large storm, which is undoubtedly good news. After all, even an existence of the level of the Golden Lion will be ruined by a large storm for the rest of his life. It is conceivable how powerful natural disasters are now. This time the simulation went so smoothly, so naturally it couldn't be wasted. There are so many good things in the world of pirates, it is impossible to rely on the time travel simulation to brush them out, sometimes it is more convenient for real people to travel through the simulation, as for some powerful talents. To be honest, Yami didn't yearn for it. After such a long time, he has only acquired one orange talent, and it is a one-time talent. With such bad luck, if he wants to rely on the system to acquire a powerful talent, it is too difficult. So, Yami has already laid down, and the talent is just as it is. If he has the opportunity to generate good talent, then choose it and try to realize it. If he can't generate it, then there is no regret. Anyway, traversing a simulation can still improve his strength. As for having so much talent, it doesn't seem to be particularly important. As long as it gives him enough time, even if she is a god, he will reach it sooner or later. Oh, it seems that the feature film is about to start. Is it due to the strongest creature? The vitality and recovery ability are very tenacious. I really want to see how I can do it with the orange talent. Yami's eyes revealed a strong color of excitement, while hiding endless fighting spirit. As if to respond to his expectation, the words on the white screen of the simulation system began to jump at this time. After a lot of trouble, you successfully defeated the three disasters of the Hundred Beasts Pirates. Just as you were about to kill them completely, the sky suddenly began to thunder and lightning. After your observation hacky amplified by the thunder fruit, you immediately sensed the arrival of a powerful aura, quickly raised your head, and a terrifying flame ray fell from the sky as it sprays at you. You look dignified, then drive the thunder and lightning to block the flame rays falling from the sky, a violent explosion occurs, and the terrible impact sweeps everything around, and some weak people pirate couldn't even escape, and was killed by flames and lightning in an instant. When the smoke cleared, a dragon was hovering in the sky, the one who came was the strongest of the beast's pirates, Kaido the beasts, one of the four emperors of the sea. Your actions have aroused the endless anger of the emperor of the sea. He immediately regained his human form, pulled out a mace from nowhere, and attacked you. You didn't have the slightest fear, you rushed forward. Top grade wordsmanship, coupled with your powerful armament hacky, let you have the capital to rival Kaido, even if the opponent's power is faintly above yours, plus all the power that was consumed just now divide your physical strength, but still can't suppress you, the supreme grade sword and the mace are constantly colliding together. The terrible force was transmitted to the ground along your legs, and for a while, the ground began to tremble violently. At this moment, there are no other people around you and Kaido. It is impossible for other people to intervene in this level of battle. All they can do is stand at a distance. Your powerful strength attracted Kaido's praise, and then he carried the mace on his shoulders and invited you to become his subordinate, but you refused. Annoyed, Kaido directly releases Conqueror Haki, but it has no effect on you at all, and under the guidance of this coercion, there seems to be something extra in your mind as if it was about to burst out, and you didn't stop it but fueled it. In an instant, the power in your mind gushes out instantly, colliding with Kaido's Conqueror Haki. The two Conqueror Haki collided together, and for a while, black lightning and thunder appeared in the sky again, the clouds began to roll and sag, and the sea level began to surge. Chapter 108, Chapter 00108, One Life Kills Two Lives. Your Conqueror Haki is the first to lose the contest. After all, it has just awakened and can only be triggered unconsciously and cannot be effectively controlled. However, Kaido's conqueror has no effect on you. Your change made Kaido realize something immediately, coupled with his strong strength. He already knew that he could not make you his subordinate, but your strength also aroused his worry, so he wanted to kill you on the spot. However, the thunder fruit and the swordsmanship of the great swordsman make your strength very terrifying. In the end, Kaido inspired the human beast form of his devil fruit, and his defense power was improved to a higher level. 
Coupled with the infusion of Conqueror Haki, the pressure on you suddenly increased. Even if you have an armament Haki defense, you can still feel severe pain and gradually fell into the downwind. You have experienced the power of the four emperors, but you didn't want to run away, but tried your best to resist Kaido's offensive, and in the constant battle, you learned how to use your Conqueror Haki. After all, the man in front of you is the best teacher in the entire One Piece world. You and Kaido fought for three days and three nights, and there was still no winner, but through this fierce battle, you learned a lot from it, but in a short period of time, you still couldn't bridge the gap between you and Kaido. Your observation Haki covers a wide area, but Kaido can foresee the future. Your armament Haki has learned advanced use, but Kaido's armament Haki has extraordinary strength. You have successfully awakened your conqueror Haki, but Kaido's conqueror ability can entangle and attack. Coupled with monster-like defense and recovery capabilities, Kaido is a berserker with double A speed and terrible fighting skills. You are gradually suppressed in all directions and can only struggle to support. Am I going to lose? Looking at the words on the white screen of the system, Yami didn't feel the slightest strangeness, but nodded lightly as a matter of course. He had guessed this situation long before starting the fight. Although the person who traveled through the simulated world is powerful, his swordsmanship has not only reached the level of a great swordsman, but he also possesses a supreme weapon such as the Supreme Sword, and even swallowed the Thunder Devil Fruit, but his strength has been greatly improved in a short period of time. So it is still a little difficult to deal with the real strong. After all, his current shortcomings are still obvious. First, there is the problem of his two hacky. Although the scope of his observation hacky has become very broad under the boost of the Thunder Fruit, it is still not top-notch, at least it has not reached the unforeseen level. There's also his armament hacky, even if he has learned the high-level application methods such as internal destruction, your physical strength is not top-notch. Compared with Kaido's physical strength, he is also at a disadvantage. On the contrary, the conqueror hacky unintentionally aroused during the battle was a little unexpected. Yami himself didn't expect that he actually has the so-called qualifications of a king, but the time is too hasty, so that now it can only be triggered unconsciously, and it can't help at all. Even though the sword attack is sharp, it is completely offset by Kaido's defense and recovery ability. It is really difficult to win under the ebb and flow. However, this is not without chance. Four emperors is really scary. After an analysis, Yami's eyes were also flickering with lingering fear, but he quickly recovered, but it's a pity, although the current me is probably at the level of Admiral, and is slightly weaker than Kaido, but the gap is not impossible to make up. Then take advantage of this battle and let's talk after one dies. It seemed that he had heard Yami's innermost words, and the process began to change instantly. You fought against Kaido for another seven days and seven nights, and your injuries worsened again, but because of your tyrannical vitality support, you persisted tenaciously until now, and at the same time, you also left Kaido with large and small sword wounds, one of which can even see the bones. Your behavior finally aroused Kaido's anger, he began to explode with all his strength, and the moves named by him were displayed one after another. You swing your sword to resist, but you were teetering in the terrifying moves. Suddenly, Kaido seized the gap where you were exhausted, and the rising dragon Bagua instantly hit you. In a hurry, you circulated all the power in your body and integrated all your energy in your sword and collided with Kaido again. The terrible fluctuations affected the entire Wano country, a large number of rocks cracked, the ground collapsed, and even the sea water around Wano country began to churn. In the collision of the strongest move, you are the first to lose the formation. Your chest was pierced by the terrifying power contained in Kaido's head, and a big hole appeared instantly, but the blade in your hand also hit Kaido's body, leaving a deep bone wound on his chest, while slashing with the power of the sun's fire and lightning constantly wearing down the opponent's body. You are seriously injured and dying, and Kaido is not feeling well at this time, but his tyrannical defense saved his life. The big hole in your chest affected your actions, and the piercing pain made you almost stop breathing, but you forced your breath to stop your heart from beating, the blood in your body stopped flowing, and the wound completely stopped bleeding. With a ferocious face, like a ghost returning from hell, you rushed towards Kaido again. The other party was frightened by your facade, and did not recover until after several sword strikes, and then an angry expression appeared on his face. The mace slams towards your body, but you have no defense at all. But you don't want your attack to be in vain since it's quite fierce so you choose to exchange injuries with Kaido in a desperate attitude. This kind of reckless approach made Kaido amazed, and then this guy showed a frenzied expression on his face, and he also abandoned his defense and entered a similar state of madness. You both didn't use any armament, some were just fist to flesh fighting. Half of your face was smashed with a mace, Kaido's waist was also pierced by you, your left calf was blown out, and Kaido's left arm was only left with a skeleton. The battle continues in another way. Finally, since forced your heart to stop beating and your blood couldn't circulate normally, you lost your strength due to lack of oxygen. You were hit by Kaido's weapon and flew out. You fell on the ground and completely lost your ability to move. But even so, you left Kaido with indelible injuries. This strongest creature, who is usually very arrogant, is looking at you with fear in his eyes, and he didn't say anything to make you his subordinate. He raised his mace high, intending to give you a final blow. At this moment, your body suddenly burst into a terrifying light, and Kaido was instantly overturned by an impact force, and the whole person slid uncontrollably for nearly a hundred meters. 
When he looked at you again, your body have slowly stood up, and the strange energy is treating you. Half of your rotting face has recovered, and other injuries on your body have also recovered in a few breaths. In addition, your physical fitness has been greatly improved, and even three hackies has been improved to a higher level. You feel unprecedented strength. Regarding your changes, Kaido's eyes widened in horror, and he felt like he had seen a ghost. You who have greatly increased in strength, in order to express your gratitude to teacher Kaido, you attacked him without hesitation. With your body restored to your heyday and became stronger, the terrible attack made Kaido almost impossible to resist. The original injury made him very uncomfortable, coupled with the physical exertion, he was suppressed by you in an instant, and the situation between you has been reversed. The terrifying slash hit Kaido's body, causing him to feel pain and at the same time a large amount of blood splashed out. Kaido scolded you in his heart for not talking about martial arts. Good guy, it's really tragic. When he saw that half of his face was smashed and his calves flew out, Yami's whole face began to twitch uncontrollably, as if he had already experienced that kind of pain. It's just that he didn't expect that the orange talent he got was so powerful, it can heal even broken limbs, and there will be such a big jump in strength, it's really unimaginable? Isn't this a proper super scene? Unfortunately, this talent can only be used once, but the passive effect of increasing vitality still exists. This kind of change is acceptable, but it is a little pity for Kaido. Thinking of this, Yami's expression became very strange. It was obviously a life and death battle, and the other party was also very moral and fair, but it never occurred to him that he could be resurrected with full blood after almost dying, and he became even more powerful. To be honest, even Yami himself feels slightly unwell. However, isn't this what fighting is? Using all available means to achieve the final victory, possessing this powerful talent is also Yami's own advantage, just like Kaido's terrifying defense and recovery ability. Winner takes all, loser dies? Apart from this point, there is probably no other explanation. But judging from this development, probably the first four emperors to be killed will appear soon. Your strength has become stronger, and at the same time, your condition has returned to its peak. Today's Kaido is no match for you. Your swordsmanship can always leave terrible injuries on him. The severe pain made Kaido want to resist, but the strength that has been overtaken, coupled with the exhaustion of physical strength, can't affect you at all. The Yami in your hand is waving quickly, and the dense sword net wrapped Kaido in an instant. At this moment, the man known as the world's strongest creature finally realized the threat of death, and immediately turned into a green dragon and flew towards the sky without any hesitation, trying to escape under the cover of the clouds. As for Wano country, he can't even care about it now. However, you don't intend to let him escape. Your observation Haki has already seen this scene in advance, and your blade imbue with top-level armament Haki swung out with all your strength. Terrifying slashes filled the entire sky, and attacked Kaido. There was a look of horror in his eyes, and he wanted to dodge. The slash flew over in an instant, grazed his body, cut off a large piece of meat, and even cut off the dragon horn on Kaido's head against Kaido's body, but it did save his life. Kaido let out a roar, his eyes flashed with anger, but his reason remained, and he plunged into the clouds and disappeared. In this regard, you feel very sorry, but the other party is the four emperors after all, and also the one that is not so easy to kill. The thunder fruit can only make you levitate for a short time, and cannot fly, so Kaido wants to escape, you have no way to take him, and can only watch him leave. You put your attention on Wano country, and killed all the remnants of the Hundred Beasts pirates. Your strength shocked everyone, Orakai previously died in your hands, then Beast Kaido also lost, the closed Wano kingdom was liberated by you, and all the samurai expressed their gratitude to you. With the support of Sukiyaki, the previous ruler and Hiri, the princess of Wano, you have become the new ruler of Wano country. The residents of the whole country have expressed their awe to you and at the same time offered you enough loyalty. Most members of the Hundred Beasts Pirates were eliminated by you, but many of them who were willing to surrender were left by you to assist Kojiki and manage the entire Wano country. Although you have become the ruler, but you has no interest in it. Of course, the candidates for surrender must be valued by you, and they are basically limited to women. You released Yamato, Kaido's daughter. The latter didn't care about you defeating her father and destroying the Beast Pirates, but she focused on you and was determined to defeat you. In the future, she will go to sea to pursue her dream. Although her strength is quite strong, she is not your opponent. You successfully defeated her. In the following days, Yamato will come to challenge you almost every day, and then you will beat her up, and after a while, she will return to her original appearance. At the same time, Kojiki Hiri also often hangs around in front of you. In the sixth year, the development of Wano country is booming, the people's happiness is very high, and the relationship between you and Yamato and Hiri is getting closer and closer. The news about you defeating Kaido and occupying the Wano country has spread throughout the world, which immediately caused a sensation in the entire sea. A new emperor of the sea was born, and all parties have different ideas. Even if you killed the celestial dragons, but the navy doesn't dare to attack you, you have gained precious development time. You didn't choose to leave Wano country, but stayed on this island and started to train with great concentration, digesting your new obtained strength, and at the same time devoted yourself to studying the method of using Conqueror Haki. In the seventh year, your strength has steadily improved, and even your swordsmanship has become stronger. 
In the eighth year, some pirates came to Wano country recklessly and challenged you, but you didn't need to do make a move. Most of the pirates, Black Maria, and Ultai under their command, could handle it. And even if they were stronger, with the existence of Yamato, he don't need to worry about it at all. You continue to train with great concentration. In the ninth year, you successfully mastered the Conqueror Infusion and officially became the top powerhouse. Now if you meet Kaido, even without your orange talent, you can still defeat him. You are almost at the apex of One Piece world. In the tenth year, with the help of many people, you married Yamato and Hiri, and your married life is very happy. In the eleventh year, Wano Country ushered in an uninvited guest, known as the most ferocious criminal in the world, Monkey D. Dragon. For his arrival, you were very surprised, but you still gave him a warm welcome. Dragon showed you his intention of coming. It turns out that he wanted to lure you into his group because you had killed the Celestia Dragons, to launch an attack on the corrupt world government and to overthrow this evil organization. You didn't feel any surprises. From the moment you saw Dragon, you knew the other party's intention. If it was before, you would probably have agreed to cooperate with Dragon, but now you are not alone, so your heart is full of worries. At this moment, Hiri and Yamato appeared beside you. The two hold your left and right hands respectively, and give you strength with gentle eyes. You understand that they will support all your decisions. So you no longer hesitate, you agree to cooperate with Dragon to overthrow the world government together. Under this goal, the entire Wano country has entered a state where all the people are soldiers. With the advanced thinking in your mind, the revolutionary army has gone much smoother. But you know the power of the world government, so you start to make other preparations. In the twelfth year, your strength improvement becomes slow, you temporarily stop your crazy training, and plan to go to sea to complete other things. After you have discussed with everyone, Hiri will stay in Wano country and manage the country with others, and you will take Yamato to leave Wano country for half a day before heading towards the Grand Chapter 109, Chapter 00109, The World is Destroyed. Leaving the New World, you return to the East Blue Sea smoothly. This is the twelfth year since you arrived in Pirate World, and it is also the year when the story begins. You returned to the Ishine Dojo in Shimatsuki village, and learned from Koshiro that after Koina learned about you, she chose to go to sea and planned to go to Wano country to find you, even Zoro chose to go to sea not long ago, and your expression is full of regret. You invited Koshiro to return to Wano country, but he refused. You didn't push any further, you left Shimatsuki village, and started wandering in the East Blue Sea. You successively eliminated the three pirate groups of Crow, Creek, and Arlong pirates, and then you defeated Crocodile, one of the Shishibukai, liberated the entire Alabasta, and brought Alabasta under your command at the same time. Next, you go to the capital of Seven Waters and defeat all CP9. Unfortunately, the door fruit has been eaten, which makes you feel very regretful. You got the blueprint of the ancient weapon Pluto from Frankie, and successfully persuaded him and Iceberg to serve you, and tried your best to build the ancient weapon. Afterwards, you brought Yamato to the Sabayati Archipelago again, which made Yamato, who had never left the Wano country, feel very excited. You chose to stay for a while, and accompanied Yamato to play in the Sabayati Archipelago. However, maybe you were born at odds with the Celestial Dragons, and you and Yamato met the Celestial Dragons again. You killed them without hesitation. After many years, it caused panic again. The Navy headquarters responded quickly and sent two admirals. But you didn't intend to have direct contact with the Navy. After the coating, you went straight to Fishman Island, which is also the second goal of your trip. Arriving at Fishman Island again, the king of Fishman Island warmly entertained you. You expressed your goodwill, and at the same time shot to kill Vander Deccan 9 who had been pestering Shirahoshi, thus gaining the friendship of the Fishman Island. At the same time, you solved the problem of Fishman Street by the way. You took Shirahoshi away from Fishman Island. Although the king of Fishman Island was very reluctant, but under the strong request of Shirahoshi herself, in the end, he had no choice but to agree. A few months later, you arrived in Dress Rosa, and you destroyed the Don Quixote family with a thunderbolt. Even Doflamingo, one of the seven Shishibukai was killed by it, your behavior will undoubtedly make the world government even more angry, they don't want you to continue to be unscrupulous like this. You still don't know anything about this. You have successfully obtained Dress Rosa's friendship and gained allies again. Next, you went to Zo, got the approval of the Mink tribe, and get a powerful ally. After you return to Wano country, you will start secretly building the ancient weapon Pluton, and at the same time train Shirahoshi, trying to make her awaken her power as soon as possible. During this period, you have not forgotten to improve your own strength. Half a year later, with the help of Frankie and Iceberg, Pluton was successfully created, and Shirahoshi also successfully awakened the power of Poseidon, and now can command sea kings to serve her. You are still waiting for an opportunity, an opportunity that can cause changes in the world. Finally, the summit war is approaching, and the situation on the sea has undergone tremendous changes. You know that your chance has come, and you are also secretly discussing with Dragon. Although the latter feels very risky, but in the face of the strength you have shown, the other party finally choose to agree. You decided to launch an attack on the Holy Land of Mary Geosa on the day the summit war started. Everything is in order, and as the designated time draws near, the attention-grabbing news arrives from the sea. The Navy headquarters plans to execute Fire Fist Ace. 
Concurrently, there is also the bounty hunter Kuna, who engaged in a battle against the navy. When you hear the news, you instantly become angry. You know, this is the navy's provocation to you, trying to take advantage of this opportunity to wipe out the whitebeard pirates and you. After all, although you have become the new four emperors, compared with the other emperors, your subordinates' combat power is not particularly strong. However, the world government does not know that you have obtained two of the ancient weapons. You decided to join the summit war. Damn. I have a bad feeling about this. In the room, Yami scratched his head helplessly. Originally, the behavior of his self was already very impatient, and he didn't even like this kind of behavior at all. Even if he created Pluton and can command sea monsters, the strongest ancient weapon is still in the hands of the world government, which is also the most mysterious ancient weapons. In addition, no one knows whether the ruling class, which has existed for hundreds of years, has any cards, so it is too hasty to launch a crusade in such a grand manner. However, anyway, it is a traversal simulation, and there is no problem in trying it a little bit. But he never expected that such a situation would happen on the way. The Navy somehow found out about his relationship with Kuna, so they shamelessly grabbed the girl. It's really Navy style. I just don't know if you can take such a big bomb, and face two four emperors at the same time, you are really full of courage. Yami sneered involuntarily, and his eyes fell on the system screen again. The summit war is coming as scheduled, and the Whitebeard pirates are the first to appear. You didn't show up in a hurry, but you did appear in the Navy headquarters, but with the help of the power of the door fruit, you have been staying in the special space created by it. When you were in the capital of Seven Waters, you defeated all the members of CP9 and successfully rescued them after becoming a dog abandoned by its owner, because you're interested in the ability of the door fruit. But you didn't expect that it would come in handy now. Time passed slowly, the summit war broke out completely, and the Navy headquarters became a mess. At this moment, you suddenly appeared on the execution platform, causing them off guard, you rescued Kuna, and at the same time defused the attack of Sengoka. But just when you were about to leave, more figures appeared one after another. In addition to Steel Kong, the previous generation, there are also many CP members in white uniforms. This is probably where the confidence of the world government lies. You smiled disdainfully, you didn't intend to continue to entangle with these people, and once again used the door fruit to leave the navy headquarters. When you reappeared, you arrived at the holy land of Mary Giosa. The fruit of the door opened again, and a large number of strong men appeared in Mary Giosa. Among them, apart from Wano, there were also the armies of Alabasta and Dressrosa, as well as members of the revolutionary army attacking the Mary Joya. Your sudden appearance immediately caught Mary Giosa's defense force a little off guard, plus a lot of force had been dispatched to the navy headquarters for support, and it fell into a disadvantage for a moment. Pluton and Shira Hashi's power made all the defensive forces of Marie Joya powerless to resist. You rushed to the center of Marie Joya very easily, and met the five elder stars who came to resist. Although the strength of the five old men is not bad, but due to sitting on top, their strength has begun to decline. They are no match for you and Dragon, and they were defeated after a hard struggle. Just when you were about to kill the opponent, there was a loud noise in the sky. They saw a huge lightning falling from the sky, and the Pluton battleship suddenly emitted a ray, which collided with the lightning, and the two energies exploded. The smoke and dust dissipated, and a figure appeared in front of everyone. The strength of the visitor is extremely powerful. From the name the five elder stars called her, it can be judged that the other party is I'm, the king of celestial dragon. You and dragon attack I'm directly, but her strength is beyond imagination. With a wave of her hand, a thick green plant rose from the ground, binding most of the people, and the power in the bodies of all devil fruit users disappeared instantly. You and Dragon immediately became vigilant, and a bold guess appeared in your heart. The woman in front of you might be able to control the power of the legendary devil fruit tree. After hearing this guess, Dragon was surprised, but I'm showed approval to you. To put it simply, I'm is the nemesis of all devil fruit ability users. But even so, you have no chance to turn back. The navy headquarters has no time to withdraw now, and the world government is empty. It now is your only opportunity to overthrow it, so you and Dragon no longer hold back, and burst out with all your strength. Your strength makes I'm amazed. Even if the thunder fruit can't be effective, the sun blaze created by the breath of the sun is the nemesis of the devil fruit tree. Im's offensive is instantly suppressed, which also makes her put you on her kill list. With your powerful swordsmanship and the sun breathing technique, you suppress I'm. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Dragon no longer uses the power of the devil fruit, and the moment he gets close to I'm, he directly casts physical skills he called Super Galaxy Dragon Claw. Im's physical skills are also powerful, but when you attack, she is instantly suppressed. Seeing that she was about to lose, I'm no longer kept it, the power of the devil fruit tree exploded completely, and a large number of plants appeared in the whole Mary Geosa, attacking all life forms indiscriminately, after absorbing all the vitality in their bodies, a powerful force erupted. Dragon was instantly killed, his chest was pierced by the branches of the devil fruit tree, and the vitality in his body was also passing away, but when he was dying, this man stretched out his hands and grabbed I'm tightly, preventing her from moving freely. You didn't waste this opportunity, the sun breath strongest technique swung out in an instant, beheading I'm in an instant. Blood did not flow from him's wound, but green juice flowed out instead. At this time, she no longer has a human form, and has completely turned into a green treant. 
The fire of the sun was burning on her body, and I'm let out a shrill scream. At the same time, she began to struggle quickly, but under the control of Dragon, she couldn't break free at all, until the two of them were killed by the fire of the sun one after another as it ignited their bodies. But suddenly, I'm erupted with astonishing power just before her death. She directly mobilized all the power in her body, and the body of the devil fruit tree rooted in the red earth continent began to collapse, and the entire red earth continent became precarious. The next moment, the devil fruit tree explodes directly, and you and Dragon bear the brunt of being swallowed by the explosion. Because of the collapse of the Red Earth Continent, the entire world was affected, and a large amount of underground magma erupted, first in the Four Seas, then in the Grand Line, and finally in the New World. I'm exploded and died, and you and Dragon also died at the same time. The land was completely destroyed by magma and sea water, and everyone died in this turmoil. You died, and at the same time caused the destruction of the world. Because of your death, the time travel simulation process is terminated. Ding, congratulations to the host for getting the final evaluation S dash, you can choose two of the following rewards. The three hackies mastery acquired in this simulation, the physical skills and physical strength acquired in this simulation, the swordsmanship learned in this simulation, the thunder fruit obtained in this simulation and subsequent development, no side effects, combat experience and forging experience gained in this simulation. Ding, it is detected that the final evaluation has reached S, the host can choose the real person simulation, can choose one more reward, or give up this real person simulation opportunity and continue the time travel simulation. Several rewards did not make Yami feel happy. Although the final evaluation was S dash, he was still not particularly happy. F sharp dollar K, fight till the end, but in the end you can't beat the boss, if you want to be so decisive, even the world will be destroyed together. Yami complained softly, with helplessness written all over his face. Forget it, at least there is good news in this traversal simulation. At least I have found out a lot of information, and it has laid the foundation for real-life traversal simulation in the future. After sitting by the bed in silence for a while, Yami finally thought of an acceptable reason. Im's true identity has been fully figured out. Except for the king of the celestial dragons, she can actually control the power of the devil fruit tree. Almost all devil fruits have no great effect on her. In addition, the body of the devil fruit tree is rooted in the red line, and she is really shameless that a disagreement can destroy the world. When performing real-life time travel simulations, he really needs to pay attention to this aspect. However, it is a little unexpected that this time travel simulation can get such a high final evaluation, but it seems reasonable, after all, his other self has done a lot of things. It also directly or indirectly led to the destruction of Pirate World, and it seems that there is nothing wrong with being able to get an S evaluation. System, I choose to get three rewards. As for rewards, one, two, four. This time without much hesitation, Yami quickly made a choice. After all, during this traversal simulation, the swordsmanship has not made much breakthrough, or to be precise, compared with other abilities, the enhancement is still insufficient. So in this case, there's not much to think about either. After his voice fell, Yami's strength changed significantly again, a lot of memories appeared in his mind, and at the same time, several powerful forces appeared in his body. However, the function of traveling through the simulation has also dimmed again. Before Yami did the real-life time travel simulation, this function will be completely blocked. It will be reopened only after the real-life time travel simulation is cleared, or after giving up the real-life time travel simulation. However, after giving up, will there be any disadvantages, it is not clear. Therefore, in order to avoid any special circumstances, it is better to prepare first. My current strength has undergone earth-shaking changes. Even in the world of One Piece, I can be called the top, but there is no way to deal with I'm. It would be better to wait for a while. I just don't know what level I reach in this world. After making up his mind, Yami turned off the white screen in front of him with a thought. Squeezing his fist slightly, the overwhelming strength in his body makes people feel obsessed. This kind of leapfrogging in strength is really amazing. So much so that Yami even felt that Orario was too small. He needs a bigger stage. The domineering aura of Observation Haki was released instantly, and the whole Orario was enveloped by him. With the increase of the Thunder Fruit, everyone's conversations could not escape his ears. However, Reveria from the Loki Familia suddenly raised her head and looked at the sky with a vigilant expression. For a mage with extremely strong mental power, it is natural to be aware of the observation haki released by Yami, but it is impossible to effectively determine who released this force. Aware of this, Yami quickly withdrew his observation haki. This world is really not to be underestimated. It seems there's still many hidden strong adventurers in the Orario. Then let me try it in the dungeon next time. As he spoke, Yami turned into a lightning bolt and disappeared from his room in an instant. Chapter 110, Chapter 110, The Public Enemy and Masochist of the Hephaestus Familia. In the dark night, thunder flashes. Yami turned into a thunderbolt, and his speed was almost increased to the extreme. He appeared under the Tower of Babel in a few breaths, and entered the dungeon without disturbing anyone. It was not the first time he had entered the dungeon at night, everything seemed so familiar. I don't intend to stay too much on the upper floor. With the power of the thunderous fruit, his speed can be said to be on full throttle. Yami can turn into thunder and lightning and continuously disappear. 
This speed is almost impossible to catch with the naked eye, and only a streak of dazzling white lightning stays in place. In just two hours, he had already appeared in the middle level. It was not until reaching the 16th floor that Yami slowed down his progress. Then start killing from here. It just so happens that the lowest floor I have ever reached is the 18th floor. I have never seen what the monsters behind it look like. Let's take a good look at it tonight. Rubbing his fists, Yami pinned the sun sword around his waist, stuck it close to his back, and ran towards the direction of the downward floor passage. Um. Suddenly, Yami subconsciously stopped his steps. His observation hack sensed the surrounding situation, Yami frowned slightly, and just as he looked around, he heard ten bursts of intensive landing sounds entering his ears. In his line of sight, dozens of minotaurs suddenly appeared in this arc-shaped cave, born from the surrounding walls and the stone walls of the ceiling, and fell to the ground one after another. A large number of minotaurs have also appeared behind him. In the blink of an eye, Yami was surrounded by countless minotaurs. Ah, unexpectedly there will be an abnormal situation, a monster feast? So, is this a welcome from the dungeon? It really helped a lot. I wanted to exercise my muscles and bones. Since you are welcoming me like this, naturally I won't be polite either. Looking at the dense crowd of minotaurs, Yami also showed an excited expression on his face. With this amount of monsters, even a LV.3 adventurer would never dare to say that they will be able to solve them. After all, this is a minotaurs, an elite monster in LV.2. If it was in the past, Yami might still feel troublesome, but now, it can no longer cause him any trouble. Then let's say hello first. R -o 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 -a 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 -r -r -r. The minotaurs, holding a stone axe, faced Yami and let out a roar that shook the sky. One after another, the terrifying roar echoed continuously in the cave, and the aura under the combination gushed out in an instant, the whole cave was shrouded in a terrible atmosphere. The next moment, these minotaurs were no longer limited to deterrence, but turned into wild bulls and launched a charge. Come down, bastards. Yami's pupils shrank sharply, and immediately after that, a burst of aura surged out, honed to the extreme conqueror Haki, crushing the aura released by the minotaur in an instant, and then under the impact, the statures of all the minotaurs stagnated suddenly. Almost all the minotaurs fell into a state of dull eyes, and many of them fell directly to the ground because they rushed too fast. After a few breaths, something terrifying happened. Bang bang bang? There was a series of impact sounds, and a huge group of minotaurs fell to the ground like dumplings, their eye sockets had lost all vitality, and they were still foaming at the mouth. With just one round of Conqueror Haki, all the minotaurs lost their ability to move. Is it only this level? Looking at the scene in front of him, Yami frowned slightly, looking a little disappointed. At first I was expecting a little bit, but now it looks like I may be stronger than I imagined. Then let's go deeper, but I don't know if Goliath is still there. Other than that, I don't know where to collect the achievements needed for the upgrade, it's a little troublesome. When he thought of his broken ability value and the great achievements needed to upgrade, he was a little at a loss as to what to do. However, as long as he continues to go deeper, he can always accumulate enough. Having completely lost interest in the Minotaurs, Yami killed all the Minotaurs with one kick, put away the magic stone in his body, and accelerated towards the lower floors. When he reached the 17th floor, the expected Goliath did not appear, which made him a little disappointed. From the looks of it, it should have been killed by some unknown team of adventurers. After all, although Goliath is the first floor master and LV.4 monster, in general it's still a novice monster. Weaker adventurers need it to accumulate ability points and great achievements, and powerful adventurers just kill it casually, so every time Goliath is refreshed, adventurers who are capable of attacking it are very eager to do so. So it's not uncommon for Goliath to be always available. Yami didn't pay too much attention to it, and went straight through the 17th floor and the safe floor, and entered the new world. Compared with a team, Yami's progress is very fast. Standing within the scope of the 19th floor, Yami subconsciously slowed down, and looked around subconsciously. No matter the ceiling, the surrounding walls, or even the ground here are made of bark. It is also for this reason that the area from the 19th to the 24th floors is called the Big Tree Labyrinth. In the passage leading to the depths, there are various plants growing, and the luxuriant moss exudes blue or green light, making everything around it look very mysterious. All kinds of plants make this place the most natural treasure house. In the Big Tree Maze, there are also a lot of medicinal materials growing. Many adventurers collect these medicinal materials and make them into magic potions, which are very popular among adventurers. Therefore, the value of the big tree maze can be said to be quite high. However, not everyone can come to this kind of place. After all, the environment of the big tree labyrinth in the middle area is quite complicated, which also provides a habitat for the monsters. Flame-breathing firebirds, bloody beehives and deadly hornets, trap-type monsters with mimicry abilities, dark poisonous mushrooms, green tree dragons, moss giants, etc., will all cause a lot of trouble for adventurers, but since he has never seen it before, Yami also doesn't know the method of their attacks. Among them, the most troublesome monster is the poisonous demon maggot. There is not much threat under a single body, but if it gathers a terrifying amount, it will be very troublesome, especially like some adventurers who are alone, there is almost no possibility of surviving. Not to mention, the environment here is really beautiful. Walking in the maze of big trees, Yami looked very leisurely, without feeling the slightest pressure. 
If he wants to, he can even easily avoid the attacks of all the monsters. However, he wanted to learn about the attack methods of the new monsters, so he had no intention of avoiding them deliberately. After a while, he met the first monster in the big tree maze. The monsters here are all LV.2, the number is huge, and there are a pair of huge horns on their heads that are as sharp as sword blades, it is completely impossible to tell whether they are sheep or deer. At least, there is no such creature in the common sense of ordinary people. Wooer. The huge sword-horned deer roared ferociously, and then swooped towards Yami with the sharp sword-like antlers. The latter stood in place, without the slightest thought of dodging, but stretched out his right hand to resist. Clang. There was a crisp metal impact, and Yami steadily received the impact of the sword-horned deer, standing straight on the spot without shaking at all, and at the same time, his palms were not damaged in the slightest. With such a weak monster in front of him, there is no way to break through his armament defense. The strength is not bad, and the sword antlers are very sharp. After the acceleration, the momentum is huge. It is indeed a bit bluffing, but it is not as scary as imagined. It is not bad. After making a simple evaluation, Yami clenched his fist and slammed it down. The head of the sword-horned deer in front of him burst open like a watermelon. There was no obstacle at all due to the huge gap in strength, and he directly killed the sword-horned deer in front of him. Immediately afterwards, Yami raised his foot and swung out, a huge vacuum slash flew out, killing all the sword-horned deer. It's so weak, there's no challenge at all, I feel like LV.3 adventurers can't stop me, I just don't know if higher level monsters will be the same. However, if I want to test LV.4 level monsters, I need to go to the 36th floor, which is a bit too time consuming. Today, I have made an appointment with Shinobu and the others. If I want to continue to test my limit, it is obviously impossible to release play here. Then just go deeper. As for the official expedition, I can only wait until I have a chance later. After making up his mind, Yami didn't waste any more time, his speed instantly increased to the highest level, and he turned into lightning and disappeared on the spot in an instant. After a while, he rushed out of the big tree maze. Even if it is his first time to come to this kind of floor, even if there is no map, the whole floor has nothing to hide from him because he has observation hacky. He can completely rely on the distribution of monsters to find the correct path to the lower level. Soon, he came to beyond the 24th floor, which is the area where LV.3 level monsters are active. As he thought before, his strength has far exceeded the scope of the current level. As for where the high point is, even he himself doesn't know. But the only thing that is certain is that it is still no problem to be comparable to first level adventurers. As for whether it can be comparable to LV.6, or even LV.7, he is not very clear. Kicking a monster to death with one kick, Yami gradually lost interest. Looking at the pocket watch he got from the world of Demon Slayer, it is not long before dawn, there is no need to stay any longer, so let's end today's trip temporarily. The original pursuit of self-protection power seems to have been obtained now, that being the case, it seems that he can slow down and enjoy his life. The next plan may be to improve my forging technology, and then find the ability to live forever from other worlds. After all, if he wants to pursue a goddess, he needs to have a long life. So, for a happy life in the future, let's work hard. After killing the last monster, Yami took all the magic stones and he did not forget to pick all the herbs that he saw along the way, as gifts for Tamayo and Shinobu. After doing all this, his whole body turned into a streamer again and disappeared into the dungeon. In the following time, Yami can be said to be quite leisurely. Without enough confidence to subdue or even kill him before she chooses to die, Yami does not intend to start the real lifetime travel simulation. If possible, he wants to accumulate enough great achievements first, and then go to the world of One Piece after upgrading. After all, with the ability value he has accumulated now, he will definitely become stronger again after upgrading. At that time, it will be easier to deal with the world of One Piece. But before that, he still needs to train his few apprentices first. In the following days, Yami started the road of online learning with Shinobu, Ace, and Tiona. In the morning, Shinobu did physical training and taught the two girls about the six styles. In the afternoon, he will take everyone into the dungeon together for the rest of the training. At the beginning, it was only on the 13th floor, but as the training progressed, they went deep into the 16th floor, that is, using Minotaur for training. Shinobu was exhausted every day, and then recovered after a night of medicinal baths. In this way, starting at 8 o'clock in the morning, leaving the dungeon at 5 o'clock in the evening, working from 8 to 5, with no rest time, it is completely harder than going to work. Of course, this is only for Shinobu alone. The two girls, Ace and Tiona, had already fully learned the six styles on the fifth day, and after that, they only needed to master them and apply them in actual combat. The two girls expressed their most sincere gratitude, and they really sent a lot of precious materials needed to make the Vitality Recovery Potion. Originally, Yoya Yubayashiki planned to buy it with money. However, under Ace's firm attitude, he still failed to give the money in the end. Yami saw all this in his eyes, but he didn't force it. Now that he has established a relationship with the Loki Familia, then just let it go. Even though she has learned the six styles, Ace has no intention of leaving, and she doesn't know if it's the girl's innate intuition. She always feels that Yami has more powerful means. Ever since, this cute girl has been pestering Yami every day, asking for advice on various fighting skills. The latter didn't hide any secrets at all. 
After roughly understanding his own strength, he really regarded himself as the master of Ace and Tiona and began to teach them carefully. Therefore, the four people who are keen on training gradually became famous among adventurers. This is thanks to Ace and Tiona. The two members of the Hephaestus Familia are obviously only LV.1, but they hang out with the Loki Familia's Sword Princess and Crusher all day long, playing against the Minotaurs. It was just a rumor at first, but as time goes by, adventurers who often go deep or have entered the 16th floor will encounter the four of them, and rumors begin flowing above the dungeon. The main reason is that this combination is too special, so it is easy to remember. Then Yami got the title of Public Enemy, similarly, Shinobu also got the title of Masochist. To be honest, when the two of them heard this title, they were very conflicted. Yami's Public Enemy is a little easier to think about. After all, there are three beautiful beauties around him every day. This kind of treatment almost makes most male adventurers envious and jealous, especially there is Ace who still has a face comparable to that of a fairy. There is nothing wrong with having such a title. But as a girl, Shinobu is called a masochist, which is very inappropriate. Is it because she only dodge and take attacks without fighting back? What kind of nonsense is this, these adventurers are idle all day long. For this reason, Shinobu didn't even want to appear in the dungeon for a while. Fortunately, under Yami's gentle persuasion, she ignored other people's words and re-entered into special training. As for those adventurers who like to talk badly, just let them go? That is to say, in this kind of harsh training, Shinobu finally achieved the desired results. Chapter 111, Chapter 00111, Banquet. I didn't expect you, Shinobi, to be the first member to be upgraded. Not only that, but you also have more physical skills, and there is also a harmony in the development ability, which is really surprising. In the room of Hephaestus, Hephaestus looked at the sheepskin scroll in her hand and said in surprise. In front of her, Shinobu, who unbuttoned her clothes and exposed her back, skillfully put on her shirt again. Hearing the words of the red-haired goddess, her eyes sparkled with excitement. That's right, in half a month, Shinobu has trained all of her abilities to the limit. Except for strength and durability, which are only C, dexterity, and agility have reached the level of A. Her magic power has even increased to S. When her level is raised to LV.2, the proficiency of basic abilities will be reset. But this does not mean that all the efforts so far have been scrapped, but turned into hidden parameters. Shinobu can clearly feel that her current self is completely different from herself before the upgrade. The rise of the level is the sublimation of the container. After the upgrade, your upper limit has undoubtedly been raised. Next, you only need to continue to accumulate proficiency. Congratulations, Shinobu, you have broken away from the level of a new adventurer. You have officially become a senior adventurer. Looking at Shinobu who doesn't have much sense of reality, Hephaestus explained with a smile on her face. It's a pity that there are no new skills and magic in the upgrade, but the addition of the development ability of reconciliation is also very helpful to her. She really doesn't expect Yami to actually have the talent for teaching? Thank you, Goddess-sama. Feeling the changes in herself, Shinobu finally showed a happy smile on her face, and bowed respectfully to Hephaestus, expressing her most sincere thanks. You know, her sister and others haven't leveled up yet, but she is ahead of everyone else. This makes Shinobu, who wants to gain enough power so that she doesn't need to be protected by others, very excited. She can finally follow in everyone's footsteps? No, this is all your own efforts, so please work hard in the future. Yes, Goddess-sama. After a few simple conversations, Shinobu exited Hephaestus's room, the smile on her face could no longer be contained, and she bounced towards the library. Perhaps it was because of being too excited, this normally meticulous girl seemed so presumptuous at this time. She pushed open the door and said loudly, Sister Tamayo, I have successfully upgraded. Really? Wow? Congratulations, Shinobu. Tamayo, who was reading in the library, slowly raised her head, showing a gentle smile, you should be the first one among us to upgrade. Is it possible to fulfill your wish now? Yes, it's also thanks to you, Sister Tamayo, I have found a fighting method that suits me, and I also thank you for the poisons you have studied with me. I have tried it, and the effect is really good. I just played some trivial role, as long as it works. Compared with other people, Ms. Tamayo did not want to level up as much as she imagined, but focused on learning medical knowledge. The various medicinal materials Yami picked from the big tree maze were of great help to her. Of course, she will also enter the dungeon, but not as urgently as others. Goddess Hephaestus has said more than once that Tamayo is more suitable for my ache than her familia. By the way, Sister Tamayo, do you know where Yami-kun is? I want to tell him the good news. If I remember correctly, he should be in the kitchen right now. Then I'll go find him first, let's talk later. Saying that, Shinobu waved excitedly towards Tamayo, then turned and left the library. The entire familia residence was already very familiar to her, and she arrived at the kitchen with ease. There, he saw a sturdy figure wearing an apron, busy inside. Similarly, by his side, there is also a woman helping. The two were working in full swing in front of the stove, and the scene could be said to be quite lively. Really, why did you invite Loki's familia members to come over for dinner? Why should I cook the banquet myself? Shouldn't you find a higher-end restaurant for this kind of meeting between gods, and then the members of the familia members under your command will stand on both sides, isn't it more formal? Yami. What are you complaining about? Wasn't I also brought in to help? Sabeki. 
Besides, isn't it because of the incident you caused on the safe floor last time? In the end, you got entangled with the sword princess of the Loki familia and discovered by god Loki. Isn't that what led to this kind of thing? Sabeki. Sabeki, who originally delayed her forging time, suddenly showed a dissatisfied expression, and even hit Yami's head with her hand. You can get my help, you boy, you should be grateful. But having said that, how did you train? You are clearly LV.2, but your body is too strong. Even I can't beat you. You haven't been an adventurer for long. You really are a monster. Not paying attention to Tsubaki's movements at all, Yami skillfully stir-fried the food in the pot. However, after hearing Tsubaki's words, he still rolled his eyes subconsciously. Do you think I'm willing? You said that what happened last time was a misunderstanding. Later, Ace and Tiona took the initiative to worship me as their teacher. You also know that I am good at everything, but there is no way to refuse the beautiful girl so I can only agreed. Hump, I really don't know how a playful guy like you is favored by Hefeista Sama. Tsubaki curled her lips in dissatisfaction, her face was full of contempt. This is probably the charm of my personality. Yami raised his eyebrows slightly, his face was full of complacency. Putting the food in the pot into the plate, Yami was about to take it outside, when he turned around, the exquisite face of Shinobu appeared in front of his eyes. Yo, Shinobu, why are you here? Yami-kun, I have successfully upgraded. Shinobu said with a smile on her face. Oh, so fast? Congratulations Yami was a little surprised. Although he knew that his method was very good, he never expected that the effect would be so good. It took only half a month for Shinobu to succeed. This upgrade speed is another sensational news. The record for the fastest leveling up of adventurers has been broken one after another. If adventurers from other families know about this, they will definitely cry. Similarly, endless troubles followed. After all, lower level adventurers are the most numerous among Orario, and there are very few humans who can become upper level adventurers. Whether it is the proficiency required for ability value or the great achievements required for leveling up, it is not so easy to obtain. So if other familia members know that this kind of thing exists, they will definitely try their best to find out the news, and then use it on themselves. It's a pity that Shinobu's progress may be replicated, but not everyone can do it. At least you have to be able to survive a large number of monsters, and there is a high-level adventurer to escort you, and then add a magician with healing magic, and a valuable medicinal bath is indispensable. This kind of treatment is not something that any adventurer can have. Even if this situation is exposed in the end, the final answer will only disappoint everyone. Did you level up so quickly? Shinobu, you are amazing. Although you are not as good as Yami, it is already very exaggerated. You know, Orario's fastest record is one year. But the two of you can be upgraded in less than a month. It is too shocking. Even though she said that, Sabeki didn't feel discouraged. In fact, the more senior adventurers the familia have, the better it is for her as the leader, which means that she can hand over more complicated affairs to other members, and she can assign more time and energy to forging. There is no so-called intrigue in the Hephaestus familia, and the relationship between all members is very good. Captain is exaggerating. In fact, it is because of Yamikun's help that I can upgrade so quickly. Otherwise, I don't know how long it will take if I rely on myself. Tisk, I really don't know what's so good about this kid. There are so many beautiful girls around him, and... She was about to continue to say something, but reason still made Sabeki stop her words. It's better not to talk about Hefeista Sama behind her back. However, she probably already guessed Yami's future life, it will definitely not be so easy, maybe some interesting things will happen. Thinking of this, Sabeki's face suddenly revealed a look of gloating. Hey, what kind of eyes are you looking at me, you, don't tell me you're planning something bad for me in your heart. Yami, who had a panoramic view of all this, rolled his eyes helplessly, I thought I could show you the forging technique of other worlds I had exchanged with some forging masters, but now it seems that there is no need for this. How can you do that? Forging is my lifelong pursuit, if you don't show me, then I will die with you. Hearing this, Sabeki suddenly became a little anxious. However, what responded to her was Yami's playful look, but you seem to be unable to beat me so your threat is completely useless to me. It's such a pity, you probably won't have the chance to see the beautiful scenery of the different world and all kinds of miraculous experiences, but it doesn't matter, anyway, you have dedicated all of yourself to forging, and you are not interested in these things either. As expected, you are the human being I admire the most, your will is too firm, and I still need to learn more from you. While talking, Yami sighed pretending to be regretful. Shinobu on the side could naturally see that he was playing tricks, and couldn't help covering her mouth and chuckling, but soon realized that her behavior was very inappropriate, and quickly restrained her smile. Hearing it, Sabeki already clenched her teeth and glared at Yami viciously. The latter stood where he was, with the corners of his lips slightly raised, and he looked indescribably comfortable. After a while, Sabeki finally lost the battle first. Okay, it's my problem, okay, I apologize to you, I shouldn't think something bad about you. Rubbing Yami's shoulder with her hands, Sabeki's voice was no longer rough as before. Although there is still a long way to go to act like a baby, Yami is probably the only one besides Hephaestus who can make this one-eyed master show this girl attitude. Seeing this scene, the corners of his mouth became even more curved, and he felt an indescribable joy in his whole being. It's rare to see Tsubaki like this. It's really indescribable excitement, as expected, he is also a sadist guy, 
Cough, for the sake of your sincerity, Captain, if there is a chance next time, I will take you with me. After all, forging day to day is very hard so work and rest is also very important. Hehe, he, thank you so much. After getting this kind of response, Sabeki breathed a sigh of relief, but at the same time began to get angry. However, having already seen what he wanted, Yami will not continue to argue with her. Humming the song from his previous life, he continues to prepare for the evening banquet food. Witnessing the interaction between the two with her own eyes, Shinobu smiled again. A thought appeared in the girl's mind. Leaving her original world and coming to this world where gods and humans coexist seemed not as bad as imagined. After collecting all the materials needed for her lord's body, maybe she can do some things she wants to do. Shinobu, don't be in a daze, hurry up and help, everyone will be back later. The voice not far away brought Shinobu back from her thoughts, and then smiled sweetly, I understand, Yami-kan, I'll help too. After her voice fell, the girl quickly walked into the kitchen. As night fell, Connie and others also returned to their familiar residence. The situation was the same as before, the girl's face remained haggard, coupled with the bloodstains on her clothes, she looked a little embarrassed. It can be seen from here that it is not so easy to be an adventurer. Licking blood on the tip of the knife every day, besides being exhausted to death, the income may not be very good. The only advantage is probably having power that ordinary people don't have. Yami saw all this in his eyes, and then a thought came to his mind. Perhaps the medicated bath can be popularized, so that Connie and the others can take a good soak every night, which is good for both physical recovery and physical exercise. Of course, that's all for later. Probably to welcome the arrival of Loki's familia, goddess Hephaestus attended today in full dress, wearing a red dress, showing off her beautiful figure. After a while, members of the Loki familia appeared in sight. The leader is Loki with a smile on her face, but in the eyes of Yami, the smile on the face of this famous god of tricks is always a bit malicious. Hey, Hephaestus, long time no see. As soon as the front foot stepped into the residence of Hephaestus's familia, Loki raised her right hand and greeted Hephaestus. At the same time, her eyes swept over everyone on the scene, and her tightly squinted eyes revealed a surprise that no one else could see at all. Are these the new children you recruited, Hephaestus? They really have potential. It's just luck, hurry up and sit down, the dinner party is ready Hephaestus also showed a faint smile on her face, and brought Loki into the banquet hall. The people who accompanied Loki this time were almost all the mainstays of Loki's familia. Except for Gareth who didn't come, people including Finn, Riveria, Ace, Tiona, Shin, Bert, and Lefia arrived at the scene. Everyone is wearing gorgeous formal clothes, as if it is really a special day. Entering the banquet hall, the eyes of Ace and Tiona fell on Yami in an instant, and the two girls trotted all the way to the latter's side, with a hint of joy in their eyes. Master, good evening. Good evening, Ace, Tiona, sit down wherever you want, knowing that Loki is coming, the time is not rushed, so I just prepared some home-cooked dishes, make yourself at home. Yami looked at the two girls in front of him with a gentle face, and greeted everyone warmly. However, when his eyes fell on Loki, the smile on his face suddenly became very stiff. This god's malicious eyes, or in other words, the eyes full of malice have hardly concealed the slightest concealment, and they fell on him unscrupulously. Chapter 112, Chapter 00112, Expedition Invitation? Loki's gaze swept across Yami's body unscrupulously. The feeling of malice made the latter shrink his neck subconsciously. The feeling of being targeted by God is not as wonderful as imagined, especially being targeted by the God of Tricks. Even if the other party has sealed her divine power now, but she has lived for hundreds of millions of years anyway, Yami has no confidence to deal with that brain alone, and it is said that the gods cannot use divine power in the lower realm, but who knows if it is true. If it is not necessary, it is better not to be targeted by the gods. It may not be the favor of the gods that ushered in like that, but it may be endless troubles. Oh, is this the master that Ace Tan is talking about? What a strange face. Hephaestus, is this also a newcomer to your familia? I have never seen him before. It sounds very plain, but everyone can hear a feeling of gnashing of teeth. It's true that he joined my familia not long ago, but him becoming the master of Sword Princess or something. I've never heard of such a thing. Knowing how much Loki loves Ace, Hephaestus smiled helplessly. However, nothing too serious should happen. After all, she had heard from Sabeki that the relationship between the two did not cross the boundary between men and women, so even if the relationship was a little closer, there was no reason for Loki to turn her face. It's also for her sake, so forget it. The prerequisite is that no substantive relationship really takes place. Eh? Are you really a newcomer? Then I'm really curious, why can Ace Tan and Tiona be so willing to worship you as their teacher? Do you have any special skills? When she said this, Loki immediately leaned in front of Yami, squinting her eyes and smiling. However, that gaze full of scrutiny and threats was not as friendly as she seemed on the surface. Yami can fully believe that if this place is not in Hephaestus Familia, Loki might have ordered his children to take him down long ago. Ah, the death stare didn't last too long, and Loki had changed from a domineering look to a humble one squatting on the ground with his head covered. Riveria, who was still very beautiful today, slowly withdrew her staff, looking very serious. That's really rude, Loki. What are you doing, mother? Don't call me that. 
Riveria's tone was still full of sternness, and then she looked at Hephaestus and Yami at the side, with a faint apology on her face, I'm really sorry, Hephaestus-sama, Mr. Yami for being rude. No, it's too serious, Riveria. Hephaestus shook her head, don't talk about these things, everyone finally got together today, so don't discuss other things, just sit down first, and talk about other things after the banquet is over. Hearing this sentence, everyone at the scene nodded and sat down at the dining table one after another. The atmosphere at the scene was a bit weird, although with the restrictions of Riveria, Loki's eyes were slightly restrained, but her eyes were still scanning back and forth on Yami. Fortunately, although the atmosphere is a bit strange, it is still acceptable. As time passed, the banquet gradually drew to a close. Connie, Shinobu, and others started to get busy, cleaning up the messy cups and plates on the dining table, while goddess Hephaestus invited Loki to sit aside. So, can we get down to business now? Facing Loki's question, Hephaestus nodded without hesitation, of course it's no problem. I've heard the general situation from Subaki. If you have any questions, just ask. I believe Yami's character would not do that kind of thing. Well, it seems that this little guy is really loved by you. At this moment, Loki's heart was also full of surprise, and she was a little angry at first, but now it seems that she has to examine the kid in front of her a little bit. Loki would never believe that the existence that could be recognized by Ice and Tiona, as their teacher, was just a low-level adventurer. Perhaps, there is really something special about this guy. Yami, please explain it to Loki. No problem, Hephaestus-sama. Naturally, Yami would not disappoint his red-haired goddess. They saw him take a few steps forward, and told everything about what happened at the 18th floor that day, including walking, and running to the waterfall, and then having a misunderstanding with Ace and others, etc. His expression didn't change at all, not even his heartbeat. Neither Hephaestus nor Loki felt him lying. There is no way for an adventurer to lie in front of the gods, that is to say, this is the truth. Hephaestus couldn't help but heaved a sigh of relief, with a faint smile on her face again. How is it? Loki, there shouldn't be any problems now, right? Ah, since it's a misunderstanding, let's forget about it. Even if she wanted to trouble Yami, in front of Hephaestus, Loki couldn't make trouble unreasonably, so she could only curl her lips unwillingly and choose to give up. However, after going back, Ace must definitely sever ties with this guy. She will never let go of any man who wants to attack her Ace. Okay, now that this matter has been resolved, let's talk about the real issue next. Hephaestus took up the tea in front of her, took a sip, raised her eyes and continued to ask, coming to my familia like this, there must be something important, right? As expected of you, Hephaestus, I really can't hide anything from you. After patting his chestboard, Loki's expression also became serious, but I'm not involved in this matter, let my familia captain discuss it with you. Leave it to me, Loki. After hearing this sentence, Finn, who had been silent all this time, walked forward quickly. The man in front of them is petite and has a good-looking face, but he has an extraordinary bearing, and the faint aura on his body makes people dare not underestimate him at all. This is one of the top adventurers in Orario? Excuse me, Hephaestus Sama, in fact, we are here this time because we have a very important matter and want to cooperate with your familia. Oh, we are a craftsman familia. If there is any big order, we will naturally welcome it. But if I remember correctly, you Loki familia should cooperate more closely with the Goibnio familia, so why not go find them? There is no intention of sugarcoating her words at all as Hephaestus asks the doubts in her heart. It's like this. Our Loki familia is planning to go on an expedition, so we need blacksmiths to enter the dungeon together with us. It may reach a depth of 40 or 50 floors. The Goibnio familia has an advantage in forging, but the members of the familia level are not enough, it is very dangerous to follow us so. Finn explained the specific situation clearly in a few words. It turns out that in terms of adventurer level, other artisan families really can't compare with us, Hephaestus showed a clear expression, and her eyes stayed on Tsubaki and Yami intentionally or unintentionally. Well, I have basically handed over to Tsubaki the management matters related to the familia, so if you have any needs, you should talk to her. Hephaestus, who didn't want to think too much, finally left the decision to Tsubaki. Although she is the main god of the familia, she is not willing to decide on behalf of her children, whether to participate in the expedition of other familia, all of this depends on their own decisions. So, Miss Tsubaki, what do you think? Everyone's eyes turned towards Tsubaki's direction. After the latter pondered for a moment, she scratched her head in a little distress, and the whole person had fallen into deep hesitation. Although she wants to participate in the expedition, it takes too long to return. It was at least a week. If something unexpected happened, it might take longer. In comparison, she actually preferred to stay in the station to make equipment. Miss Tsubaki, we want to hire craftsmen from the Hephaestus Familia to participate in the expedition. During the expedition, they will only be responsible for the maintenance of our equipment. Whether it is the various materials needed during the expedition or your safety issues, we Loki Familia will take full responsibility. Of course, regarding the issue of remuneration, we can pay 30% of the precious materials and special drops obtained during the expedition, what do you think? Hearing this, Sabeki's eyes light up instantly. In Orario, the powerful familia members whose main job is to conquer dungeons will carry out an expedition on a regular basis. 
In the dungeon, which is the main means of profit for adventurers, the lower you go, the greater the danger factor of the monsters that appear, and at the same time, the corresponding rewards are higher. To put it simply, an expedition is an act in which almost all the members of the Familia's main combat force are dispatched to raid the deep dungeon in order to obtain rich rewards. Of course, there is also a kind of honor in it. The deeper a certain Familia member enters the dungeon, the stronger the Familia member's strength is, and the Loki Familia member is a large organization that is very keen on this kind of behavior. Compared with other Familia, they prefer to rely on teamwork to advance. During this period, the consumption of the expedition was enormous. Although many weapons have the attribute of not bad, even if they are not bad, their sharpness will still be damaged after long-term use, so regular maintenance is still required. This is probably also the reason why the Hephaestus Familia is required to participate. Although the consumption of the expedition is huge, the rewards are also huge. According to the strength of the Loki Familia, it is absolutely no problem to enter the 40 and 50 floors. Just doing equipment maintenance work, you can get 30% of the income, no matter how you think about it, it is not a loss. What's more, she can also obtain some precious materials, which are difficult for her to obtain alone. She usually needs to spend money to buy them, and she can't enter such a deep floor by herself. Now she can collect a batch of precious materials. The material, no matter how you look at it, is a good deal. For a moment, Sabeki was a little moved. What do you think? Hephaestus Sama. To be on the safe side, she asked Hephaestus for her opinion. I have no objection, you can go if you want, although no one will be able to take care of the familia after you leave, but I have rested for a long time, so I will take over with reluctance, and you can also take this opportunity to collect some rare materials, I also have some ideas recently, I want to implement them, he <laughs> he, got it, Hephaestus Sama, Sabeki suddenly laughed dryly, and quickly agreed, in the end, it turned out that her hands were itchy so she needed a batch of materials to try, it really has the style of forging goddess, but if you look at it this way, it makes sense. It is really necessary to collect a batch of forging materials. Although the artisan familia is very profitable, the demand for resources is also very large. After all, the resources of each member of the familia need to be allocated reasonably. Since you are full of sincerity, Captain Finn, I will not be disrespectful. I agree to the employment of Loki's familia, but unfortunately, most of the familia members are absent recently, so I should be the only one who can be responsible for equipment maintenance. Now that they have talked about cooperation openly and honestly, then naturally she cannot have reservations. Hearing this, Finn was obviously taken aback, and the brows on his face were also slightly frowned. Things were a little bit beyond expectations, although Tsubaki's forging technology is the best in the entire Orario. Second to none, but the equipment lost during the expedition must be huge, can one person really be busy? Miss Tsubaki, don't the Hephaestus Familia have any available craftsmen besides you? Yes, there is. Hephaestus Sama has recently recruited a group of fairly good swordsmiths, but their strength is too weak to participate in the expedition at all. The words of those who are temporarily available, besides me, there is probably only this brat Yami. Yami is very talented in forging, but he has never dealt with first level weapons, but repairing or forging other weapons is still easy. Oh. As soon as these words came out, not only Finn was pleasantly surprised, but also attracted Loki's attention. The god of trickery who had come down suddenly had an idea in her mind, and the smile on her face became even weirder, like a cunning fox. Since there are two craftsmen, there is no problem. At worst, the one-eyed girl will be responsible for the equipment maintenance of Finn and your top-level combat power, and that kid will be responsible for the maintenance of next-level equipment. Loki pretended to be serious and made a suggestion from the side, this kid is so valued by Hephaestus, it's not a problem to think about self-protection, and Finn and the others are here to protect his safety. Naturally, there is no problem, two craftsmen are barely enough, it is better than nothing. Very reasonable words made everyone nod their heads. However, three people at the scene heard the deep meaning in Loki's words. One is Hephaestus, one is Reveria, and the other is Yami himself. The two rolled their eyes almost at the same time, but they would not turn their faces at this time. Although Loki's character is very bad, Reveria still wants to give respect to her goddess. As for Hephaestus and Yami, they don't care even more. After all, the red-haired goddess is very familiar with Yami who can pull her heartstrings, and the picture of the completely invisible value on the opponent's ability value is still vivid in her mind at this moment. Even if he participates in the expedition, there is absolutely no problem with self-protection. Therefore, Loki's conspiracy this time may end in failure. When the expedition is over, the expression of this guy with a very bad personality must be very interesting. She really want to record that scene. So, Yami, what's your opinion? Sabeki turned around and asked Yami for his opinion. The latter thought for a moment, then nodded lightly, I am willing to join this expedition, just as the training for Ace and the others has come to an end, now there is such a good opportunity. Naturally, I will not refuse the opportunity to make great achievements, so please take care of me. That's really great. The expedition is three days away. During this time, I would like to trouble Mist Sabeki and Mr. Yami to prepare well. We will gather outside the Tower of Babel. There was a faint smile on Finn's face, but Loki's smile was almost uncontrollable. 
Yami chuckled in his heart, ignored this unpredictable goddess, but nodded at the same time as Tsubeki, expressing that he would be well prepared. Immediately afterwards, the two sides exchanged some details. In the end, it was because Ace and Tiona stood beside Yami, which attracted Loki's unreasonable troubles, which made the discussion suddenly stop and had to leave. In the banquet hall, there were only members of Hephaestus's familia left. Yami, are you sure there will be no problem? Judging by your excitement, are you planning to expose your strength? Ah, I was worried about my lack of strength before, but now it is no longer a concern. I have been silent for such a long time, and it is time to come out and do some activities. Chapter 113, Chapter 00113, The Expedition Begins? Yami accepted the expedition invitation of the Loki Familia without hesitation. As for why, he also thought about it carefully. Since someone is willing to help the Hephaestus Familia collect the advanced materials needed for forging, why refuse? What's more, he also wants to go through this expedition to see what level he has reached. As for whether or not his real strength will be exposed, it is not particularly important. All the gods have been sealed with divine power, so there is probably no one in Orario who is a threat to him. Aware of Yami's firm attitude, Hephaestus didn't try to dissuade him too much. Since you have made up your mind, I won't ask too many questions, but the expedition is very dangerous. Although you are powerful, it is your first time. You must pay attention to safety. In addition, help me protect Sabeki. I hope I can see you two coming back safely, do you understand? When she said this, Hephaestus had a serious expression on her face. Seeing this, Yami didn't dare to continue to play around, but nodded solemnly and made a promise without hesitation, don't worry, Hephaestus Sama, Captain and I will definitely come back intact, will not make you sad, this is an agreement between me and you. That's good, let's prepare well these few days. Saying that, Hephaestus turned and left the banquet hall without hesitation. Let's stop here for today, everyone, you've been tired all day, go back and rest early. Yami clapped his hands, and got nods from the others, and then everyone turned around and left the banquet hall with different expressions, and walked towards their respective rooms. But he himself did not return to the bedroom, but walked towards Hephaestus's lounge. Soon, Yami arrived at the door. Slash knock slash knock slash. Who is it? This time the red-haired goddess response was completely different from the previous ones. She didn't let Yami in directly, but instead asked Yami in the room. Although slightly surprised, Yami responded softly. It's me, Hephaestus-sama. I suddenly remembered a very important matter. I want to discuss it with you. Is it convenient now? After a moment of silence in the room, the wooden door was suddenly pulled open. The beautiful goddess in formal attire had disappeared, and what appeared in front of Yami at this time was Hephaestus, who had changed into casual attire. After seeing him, the red-haired goddess opened the door a little, then turned around and walked into the room. Tell me, what is it that came to me so late? Sitting back on the bed again, Hephaestus picked up the book on the side and silently flipped through it. You won't tell me that you have obtained another world and are qualified to open the door. That's not true. In fact, there is a good thing. Why don't you show it to you Hephaestus-sama? This is it. After his voice fell, with Yami gently waving his hand, a not too big, but not too small machine appeared in the room. Since it hadn't started, it was quietly placed on the ground at this time. What is this? Did you find a machine from Connie World? Hephaestus, who was still full of expectations, completely disappeared after seeing this ugly-looking machine. She has seen a lot of this kind of machine, and she has found a lot of it for research, and she has gained a lot of inspiration from it. Even the familia's forging business has been slightly improved. It can be said that the benefits of the different world are very huge, and it has a huge impact on them. Now Yami has come up with a machine of unknown use, which makes Hephaestus completely uninterested. Hephaestus-sama, don't worry, this is the decomposition machine I got before, put the weapons and equipment in it, it can completely destroy it, and then decompose some special things, I was too busy before I forgot about this thing, I haven't tried it yet. Decomposer. Hearing this sentence, Hephaestus reacted. So, you didn't find this from Connie and the other's world, but you got it from another world. Well, if you say that, there is nothing wrong with it. This is indeed a very magical disassembly machine. After putting weapons and equipment in it, I don't even know what I can get, but the only thing that is certain is that as long as you are lucky enough, you can indeed get some good things. Really? I'm a little bit interested, so let's try it out. Intrigued by Yami's description, Hephaestus closed the book, got up and came to Yami's side, knelt down and looked at the thing in front of her curiously. Her slender palm tapped lightly on it, but did not find anything special. However, she still found that the various characters carved on the decomposition machine in front of her are completely different from Orario's characters, but possess the same power as the sacred characters. Is this a product of another world? Hephaestus, who is really yearning for new knowledge, wants to reach the world who produced the decomposition machine at this moment, and learn about its power well? It's such an exquisite depiction of magic, no, I can't understand it at all. After trying for a while, Hephaestus shook her head with some regrets, her divine power was sealed, and it would be too difficult to figure out the structure of this thing with just her eyesight. But although she wanted to know its composition, Hephaestus didn't want to be sent back to heaven. 
Don't pay too much attention to this kind of thing, Hefeist Asama, you just need to know that this thing is very useful, not only can waste be used, but it may also give you some unexpected gains. As if coaxing a child, Hephaestus rolled her eyes angrily, the red-haired goddess also had some expectations in her heart. She opened the bookshelf in the room straight away, and behind it was a wide forging room, with many weapons hanging in it. Judging from the luster on these weapons, there is no doubt that they are all high-quality goods, all of which are forged from the hand of the goddess. Hephaestus took one in her hand and returned to the room with it. I just barely believe what you said, try it with this knife, but if the situation you said doesn't happen, you are going to work for me honestly to pay off the debt. As she spoke, Hephaestus gave Yami a malicious look. The latter didn't feel the slightest bit of fear at all, but felt that his goddess was very cute, and couldn't help but chuckle, which again aroused the dissatisfaction of the goddess. Ahem, don't worry, Hephaestus Sama, I will never lie to you. It's better like this, how to use this thing. Hearing this, Yami moved his gaze to the decomposition machine. To be honest, Hephaestus's question really stumped him. Since he got it, he has never tried it at all, and he doesn't know how to use it. However, just try it a little and you will know. Leave it to me to handle. As he spoke, Yami took the weapon away from Hephaestus's hand. During this period, he inadvertently felt the soft and smooth little hands of the red-haired goddess, but the latter did not express the slightest sign. This undoubtedly made him very happy, but he didn't dare to be too presumptuous, and even started to get down to business. He puts his right hand on the disassembly machine, and a blue magic circle appears above the machine instantly. This should be the place to place the weapons and equipment to be disassembled. Yami subconsciously placed the weapon in his hand on it. The next moment, the magic circle burst into light, and the weapon disappeared in an instant, followed by a sound like metal breaking in the decomposition machine. Are you sure it can really disassemble that weapon? Hearing this sound, Hephaestus's face showed doubts again. Ah, although there is a lot of movement, there is no doubt that it will be successful. Don't worry, Hephaestus Sama. Next, you just need to wait for the result. Yami smiled awkwardly, and there was also a drum in his heart. He was really afraid that the decomposition machine would suddenly make trouble for him. When it was put in, the size was so big, but when it was carried out, you put it here and it turned upside down. The gap between the front and the back is really worrying. Fortunately, the decomposition machine did not disappoint him in the end. After a while, the deafening sound stopped abruptly, and then the familiar magic circle reappeared, and a bunch of things were thrown out of the decomposition machine and fell to the ground. The decomposition process is apparently over. Is this the end? Hephaestus was slightly surprised. The weapons have disappeared, replaced by this pile of things. One person and one god squatted down at the same time, and began to fiddle with the items in front of them. Many of the materials were dropped from the monsters in the dungeon, but at the same time, there were some things they didn't recognize at all. What is this? Suddenly discovering something, Hephaestus reached out and picked up a grey stone as a whole, and looked at it carefully in her hand, and then her expression suddenly changed. Magic stone? No, no, the energy in it is much purer than the magic stone. Even the magic stone dropped by the floor master can't compare with it. The magic power contained in it is too pure and docile, as if extracted from nature. Yami, do you know what this is? From her urgent tone, one can see Hephaestus's mood at this time. The appearance of this kind of object capable of overturning cognition made this god who lived for hundreds of millions of years very curious. She yearned for more knowledge and more fun. Now, isn't it already delivered to her door? Don't worry, Hephaestus-sama, let me have a look first. Being slightly awestruck by Hephaestus's movements, in order to avoid losing control, he quickly straightened his back, he stretched out his hand to take the grey stone in her hand. It is more appropriate to say that it is a stone, rather than a block. After looking carefully, Yami's expression became a little weird. This angular block, coupled with the magical energy contained in it, and it was spit out from the decomposition machine, there may be only one answer. It should be a small colorless crystal? This is a kind of magical stone that contains magical power that only exists in the mutated space. Regardless of its size, it always maintains a square shape, and its effect can be said to be quite large. It is obviously a specialty of the continent of Arad, but he didn't expect to be able to obtain it using disintegrators in other worlds. Yami, why are you in a daze? Do you recognize this stone? Seeing that Yami fell into a sluggish state, Hephaestus's voice sounded again, which immediately brought him back from his doubts and thoughts. I should know this stone, Yami nodded quickly, its real name is a small colorless crystal block, which contains pure magical energy, which can directly be guided and used, and it can also be used to forge equipment. However, there may be another way to use it, maybe it can directly absorb the magic energy inside, maybe it can stay in your body. Feeling the magical energy surging inside the small colorless crystal block, Yami's expression was very incredible. He really has this feeling that he can fully use the magical energy in the small colorless crystal block without any damage, this energy is really too docile. Is it still possible to do this? Doesn't that mean? Hephaestus's face suddenly revealed an expression of surprise, with disbelief written all over her face. Of course she understood the meaning of Yami's words. If it is really possible to condense magic power and spiritual power through the small colorless crystal block, then there is no doubt that this will have a big impact on Orario. Magisters may not even need to enter the dungeon to level up, they only need to have small colorless crystals. 
There is no doubt that this is not what the gods want to see. This small colorless crystal block must not be circulated, otherwise Orario will fall into chaos, do you understand what I mean? Of course, I won't give this kind of thing to others, it's good for our own familia to use it. Yami shrugged, indicating that he was very clear. Hearing this, Hephaestus also nodded slightly, and then turned her attention to the disintegrator. She is now aware of how precious this thing is. This surprise is really big enough. Yami, you will go on an expedition in a few days, and you probably don't have any extra time, so can I study this decomposition machine for a while? Of course there is no problem, then I will lend it to you Hephaestus-sama for your use. Naturally, Yami would not refuse Hephaestus's request. After all, he was also someone who had a glimpse of God Mountain, of course he would not be stingy, and the purpose of taking this thing out, wasn't it for this? Maybe Hephaestus can get something unexpected from it. Because of the binding, Yami gave the permission to Hephaestus, and then stayed for a while before leaving the room. Three days passed quietly. In the early morning, the sun has not yet fully risen. In the central square near the Tower of Babel, there are already some sparse pedestrians starting to walk. This is not the time for adventurers to work. However, a mighty force has emerged outside the Tower of Babel. Although there were not many people in the square, the mighty team was still captured by others. After all, with such a huge team, it is impossible not to be discovered. Why are there so many adventurers? That badge, is the Loki Familia. All the pedestrians who were walking, the little drowsiness that existed because of the early morning, was completely dispelled at this time, and everyone became full of energy. There is no doubt that the Loki Familia is the most powerful Familia among Orario. In the entire Orario Familia, except for the Freya Familia, there is no other Familia that can compare with them. This also caused every move of the two families to cause all adventures attention. Now that so many members gather outside the Tower of Babel, is this an expedition? If so, this is definitely big news. The surrounding noises did not distract the members of the Loki Familia. All of them were checking their belongings at this time, and their expressions were full of confidence and expectation. The official first expedition is about to begin now. All of them are witnesses, and this is a moment that symbolizes the honor of the Familia. Almost all members of the Loki Familia are excited and full of energy, wanting to show their strengths. At this moment, the danger of the dungeon has been completely forgotten by them. Not far away, Yami body appeared around the square after washing. Tisk, I have to say that this kind of scene really makes people feel excited. It's really easy to empathize with the posture of an army going out. Looking at the situation in the square, Yami couldn't help expressing such emotion. Sabeki on the side also nodded in agreement, indeed, to be honest, I have never formally conducted an expedition, and this feeling is really complicated. Chapter 114, Chapter 0114 The Powerful Loki Familia? The Power of Teamwork. Looking back, Yami looked at the worried Connie, and said with a light smile, Don't worry about me and Captain, Connie, we will return from the dungeon in at most two weeks, during this time just remember to take care of yourself. Understood, Yami Khan, please be careful. Connie encouraged solemnly. This appearance is just like the husband going out and the wife coming to see him off. Shinobu on the side couldn't stand it anymore, and said immediately, Sister, don't worry about Yami Khan, his strength is much stronger than us, so this kind of worry is completely unnecessary. Shinobu is right, don't worry about us. By the way, remember to soak in the medicinal bath list I left for you every night. It is of great benefit to your body, so that you can upgrade faster and reach deeper floors. After all, the medicinal materials that God my ache needs have not been assembled yet. We will work hard. Having said that, Connie also showed a grateful expression on her face. To be honest, Yami has already provided enough help. It is impossible to even need all the materials provided by the other party. They, the former pillars of the ghost killing team, have to complete what they should do. Then we'll go first. After waving at Kani, Shinobu, and Kaneo, Yami turned around and walked towards the Loki Familia together with Sabeki. Going straight to the front of the team, Finn is coordinating the team's situation at this time, Gareth is also assisting at the side, and even Riveria is organizing the mage group at this time. At this time, no one dares to be sloppy. After all, expeditions are no more leveling than usual, and the level of danger is much higher. Coupled with the large number of entourages, proper coordination must be carried out. Otherwise, if encounters a powerful monster on the way and causes confusion in the team, the result may be a massacre. It should be said that he is indeed the brain of the Loki Familia, Finn's talent in command is simply too high. This alone makes Yami have to admire him. However, every time he saw him, he would feel a very strange emotion. The prototype of Finn's character is the legendary hero in Celtic mythology, Finn McCool, who is also the sufferer who was robbed of his fiancé by Brother Brush. And now, Yami also has a mole of love, and Shin of the Loki Familia likes Finn very much, which makes his mood even more strange. This feeling is really weird. For this reason, he has not dared to open the Mole of Love recklessly until now. Even if Shin's adventurer level is LV5, and her development ability also has abnormal resistance, no one can guarantee that this girl will be immune to this magic. So in order to avoid weird things from happening, it would be better to be a little restrained. Yo, Finn, we're here. Just when Yami was thinking wildly, Sabeki took the initiative to greet Finn. 
The latter turned around immediately, and when he saw Yami and Sabeki, a gentle smile appeared on his face, Mr. Sabeki, Mr. Yami, you are finally here, are we late? Yami also asked with a smile. Of course not, there is still a while before the agreed time. The equipment maintenance work for this expedition will trouble you. When he said this, Finn's expression was very serious. Seeing this, Yami and Sabeki also restrained their joking demeanor, and nodded at the same time, don't worry, leave it to us, this is our job. Very well, since everyone is here, let's go now. While speaking, Finn drew out the long sword at his waist and gave the order to formally march. Oh, all the members of the Loki familia cheered at the same time, and everyone's eyes were shining with fiery light. They couldn't wait for a long time. Seeing this, Yami shook his head lightly. He doesn't particularly like this kind of hot-blooded behavior, but taking people's money to eliminate disasters, since he has agreed to participate in the expedition, he will naturally not regret it. For activities like expeditions, maybe he also needs to organize one occasionally? However, those are all things that need to be done in the future. As for now, let's paddle honestly and see if he can meet the monster he likes on the way. If he can accumulate enough great achievements during this expedition, that would be great. There is a characteristic of the dungeon. Except for a very few floors, most of the time, the deeper the floor, the larger the area of the floor. When reaching the 40th floor, it is said that the area is already comparable to the entire Orario. Simply put, it is similar to a conical or pyramidal structure. Since the area between the entrance and the first floor is not too large, it is obviously unrealistic for all the members of the Loki Familia to enter at once, so they can only divide the team and enter it in batches, and they cannot choose the same the passage, they only need to lead the teams down, and then gather on a certain floor with a large enough area. Only powerful Familia like the Loki Familia with a large number of adventurers do this. If it was Hestia Familia, it would not need to be troublesome, they would basically enter and leave together. Yami and Sabeki were assigned to the second team, that is, the team led by Reveria. There are quite a few elves in the team, probably because of Reveria's name and identity, they have a longing for her, so they joined the Loki Familia? Although the level of these elf adventurers is not high, but because of their race, they are very good at magic. If this group releases magic together, the oppressive force is not something ordinary people can bear. This is also the horror of the Loki Familia. After all, this is the Familia that is best at teamwork in the entire Orario. So under this kind of firepower, the team was hardly hindered in the slightest, and they advanced to the middle level very easily. The area that was very dangerous in the past is now as easy as a primary school student on a spring outing. A team of all senior adventurers pushed almost all the monsters they encountered along the way. The wizards don't even need to do anything, just the forwards of the second team and the adventurers on the side are enough to deal with these weak monsters. Skillful and tacit cooperation, not even injured. Good guy, I finally saw a real team play in a dungeon, all kinds of tanks go up to take damage, and then output a fatal attack, this is what an adventurer should look like. Looking at the adventurers who are fighting monsters, Yami couldn't help but exclaim in his heart. The warrior with the shield bears the impact of the monster, and then the warriors crouching behind take advantage of the exhaustion and stiffness of the monster, and suddenly shoot and hit its vitals. Every link is completed by someone, and there is a lot of trust between each other, and the links are intertwined, which allows such a large team to move forward in an orderly manner. He has to say that this is probably the charm of the team. You look shocked. Seemingly seeing what Yami was thinking, Sabeki on the side pushed his arm with her shoulder, and said with great emotion, although I don't want to mention this kind of thing, the Loki familia is indeed very powerful. Their being strong is not just about being strong individually, a combined team can exert even greater strength. This is something that even the Freya familia can't compare to. It's really surprising, but this way of fighting doesn't suit me. Yami shook his head with a smile, and did not deny the strength of the Loki familia. In fact, he knew about this a long time ago. At least in terms of unity, the Freya Familia really cannot be compared with the Loki Familia. After all, that Familia is very strange. Compared with the so-called unity, they will be more interested in snatching the favor of Freya, the goddess of beauty. However, if there is a fight with real swords and guns, perhaps the Freya Familia will win the final victory. Although the low-level adventurers in the Familia may be wiped out, they must be the last laughers. The strength of the King Otter is not just talk. In the original book, if there is no Bell Cranal, maybe only he can be called a real hero? Adventurers have distinct levels. In addition to the basic ability value, the real combat power also has the development ability, skills, and magic. But as the level continues to increase, the gap between adventurers of different levels will also be widened. This gap will become larger when the level is higher. Sometimes, even if low-level adventurers have powerful skills or magic, there is no way to bridge the gap. Therefore, this is also the reason why Freya chose to herd her familia, but was still able to prosper for a long time. As long as there is this otter, her familia will not decline, Soon, the second team led by Reveria reached the 18th floor and successfully merged with the other two teams. The road ahead may not be so smooth. Inside the big tree maze, groups of adventurers were resisting the attacks of various monsters. Finn and the others did not do anything, but directed everyone's actions with a calm face. 
Generally speaking, Finn, who is the brain of the team, will not make a move, but observes the changes in the battle situation, and then directs other people to respond immediately, unless they encounter a monster that is particularly difficult to deal with, he will cope with Riveria and the others. Obviously, that kind of situation will not happen in the big tree maze alone. Yami and Sabeki have been staying by Riveria's side all the time, watching other people around them fight in full swing, all kinds of magic are flying in the sky, and there are even a few adventurers with shields protecting them, this is completely different from his expectation. The situation is a little bit strange. Captain, don't we really need help? Of course they don't need it. Who do you look down on? Look where you are. Have you seen Riveria making a move? It's not that you can't, but it's giving other members of the Familia some opportunities to exercise, otherwise you think where do ability proficiency and great achievements come from? Sabeki, who was watching the battle, was suddenly interrupted and rolled her eyes angrily. You don't need to worry about these things. We are only here to take care of equipment maintenance. If you want to help, it will be at a different price. He really didn't expect that Sabeki would be so realistic. However, since his captain said so, then Yami will not meddle in other people's business, and just follow the big team honestly. Anyway, he has no interest in these monsters. If it is a monster of LV.5 or even LV.6, maybe it will be exciting. But for the monster in the tree maze, forget it. Ever since, the whole team traveled through many floors without any risk, and finally killed a large wave of monsters. After cleaning up, they stopped to rest at the passage leading to the 25th floor. About 10 hours have passed since entering the dungeon. After walking for such a long time, plus experiencing countless battles, even adventurers who have strengthened their abilities feel more or less tired at this time, so in order to cope with the upcoming battle where the monster's strength is about to increase again, it is necessary to restore their state to the best. Under the command of Finn, the logistics staff of the Loki Familia began to cook and set up tent. At the same time, it was time for Yami and Sabeki to work. A lot of damaged weapons and equipment were sent to the place where the two were, and repairs began in the place where they were simply built. Now, Yami didn't have time to continue talking nonsense. He only now knows why Finn is willing to give a full 30% of the proceeds, and also invites the blacksmith of Hephaestus Familia to join this expedition. In high-intensity battles with monsters, the damage to weapons is too serious. In just a short time, Yami received many weapons that were almost completely destroyed, and repairing them was also very troublesome, far inferior to building another identical one. It's a pity that in the dungeon now, there is no such condition at all. After some tiring work, all the equipment that needs to be repaired was finally dealt with. At this time, the supporters of the Loki Familia built a fire early, and all kinds of simple food were already placed in the pot, and with the rising flames, they continued to boil. At the same time, it also has a very attractive aroma, which affects everyone's heartstrings. Even some adventurers in charge of vigilance looked towards this side intentionally or unintentionally at this time. Of course, they still haven't forgotten their respective responsibilities. As we all know, the dungeon is alive, it produces monsters all the time, let these powerful monsters devour all the adventurers who enter the dungeon alive. It's a pity that because of the existence of the Tower of Babel, the monsters couldn't run to the ground. And in these hundreds of years, after the adventurers continued to explore, they also figured out some general rules of the dungeon. Repairing damaged buildings tends to be a higher priority than hatching monsters. That is to say, if there is no way to successfully reach the safe floor at night, then find a place, and then destroy the wall by hand, and destroy it again before it is about to be repaired. If it is broken, it can effectively prevent the birth of various monsters. You only need to send people to watch the night, and at the same time destroy the walls one after another. And you don't need to worry about night attacks from monsters. But, this is only to reduce the hatching probability of monsters. If other monsters wander over from other areas on the floor, it's a different story. After a meal rotation, most people start to rest. According to Finn's plan, the first day only needs to reach this level, and tomorrow is the real start of the expedition. Starting from the 25th floor, LV3 level monsters will appear, and both the number and refresh rate are much higher than the upper and middle floors. Therefore, tonight, they must nourish their energy. Except for the night watchman, almost all other adventurers have rested. Although the monsters in the upper and middle layers cannot cause much hindrance, they still consume a lot of energy. What's more, there will be another tough battle tomorrow, and many people are very nervous. Of course, these people did not include Yami. After finishing the equipment maintenance work early, he walked straight to the camp not far from the team, lying on a rock, staring at the ceiling hanging above his head in a daze. In other words, he has been in Orario for so long, and the span of time from a weak otaku to a powerful and independent adventurer is really big enough. Not only that, he even won the favor of the goddess. Although it is necessary to create equipment that surpasses the skills of Hephaestus in order to make the other party accept his love, Yami, who is full of confidence, is not worried at all. This aspect of the problem. If it was changed to before, this kind of thing is really unthinkable. Now after becoming powerful, maybe it's time to change his goals? It shouldn't be just to become stronger, the next thing that needs to be done is to find a way to live forever, and then forge powerful equipment. Then finally embrace the beauty, 